Uh, Henlo. Okay. Oh boy. Twitter notification is out. <laughs> we are live. Cool. Let me just get strapped in. I'm catching up to you in the story. Oh, okay. You're not that far behind, right? Hell's open. Okay. So, yeah, you're basically where I'm at. Hi. Because that's where I finished up. The last time. Cool. Okay. Hello, Mr. A rank. I'm just going to fly right through you because you're passive. Hmm. Then he's not an A rank. A B rank is the blue ones because they're passive, and A rank is the uh, orange and red ones because they're aggressive. My headphones are all tangled. Hang on a sec. Man, I swear to God, headphones just like pen dimensionally tangle themselves. You can put them shits in your pocket, pocket perfectly, and they'll still just be like, well, take them out, you tangle. Probably. <laughs> I fucking hate headphones, man. That's why I switched to wireless ones. Mm. I hate cords. There's a difference. <laughs> Fair enough. I have so many cords surrounding me, it's ridiculous. So. I understand the feeling. Tangled. Yeah. Just don't call me Rapunzel. Don't call it a comeback. Well, it might be. Hello, Conquer and Nitro. It's going good for us. How's it going for the both of you? Your cords never tangle. <laughs> are, are we still talking about wires here? Hmm. What do I have under my nails? Looks like there's like a... Dirt. Yeah, it looks like there's a piece of dirt under there, but it's not coming out. That's why I keep my nails trimmed, yeah. My nails are trimmed. The fuck? Could be that I bruised the skin underneath. Hmm. Well, it doesn't hurt, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, uh, we'll get started in like two minutes. A minute and a half now. My Safi runs today just sucked. Your what runs today? Safi Jiva. Mm. Monster Hunter, it's what I was fighting when you walked in the room. Oh, okay. They 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 sucked, huh? I got my Shatter Claws, but like still, they sucked. Mm. I hate I... how that fight is just like, oh, it's only a 20 minute fight. You think it'd be something you just charge through? No, it's like a team effort. Like, the well, first lobby I was in, there was one run going on at once. One. Hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? You're just sitting here waiting for them to finish it for you? Get off your lazy asses and fight the damn thing. Hmm. Oh, boy. Doing all right, playing Minesweeper while you wait for an email from a school professor supposed to send an update for the class. Okay, gotcha. Well, hopefully it uh, gets in so you can take care of business there. Know how you feel? I was doing it the past couple of days. <laughs> like I'm already almost done with my final set for like my deck for my dual swords and shit. I just need to augment the rare twelve stuff, and I don't can't even go after elders in the uh, guiding lands yet. But I'm just like, okay, I want to get the shit done because once I have that done, I can just go off and bench press the two new monsters. Because hmm. Mark's already taken down the Bracky variant. Oh, okay. and I'm just over here like I haven't killed any of them. I'm just sad. Hmm. Still haven't gotten the rare from Safi. Oh boy. That's why Celestial tickets were invented. I literally, though, I literally walked in the room while Cole was doing a thing that was RNG based uh, earlier, 
And I said, I, he told me the whole thing, and I barely understood half of it, but I says, okay, but wait, do, why do you want me to play this game again? It sounds like an exercise in frustration. <laughs> End game is an exercise in frustration. Uh-huh. There is a distinct fucking difference. Hmm. Playing the game itself is just about going through, getting equipment, killing monsters. Once you get the end game, though, you need to start worrying about optimization of skills, min-maxing your armor. <laughs> I heard you don't do possible. that in 14, so I don't know if I'd do that in Monster Hunter World. <laughs> I mean, that's just because you're playing 14 wrong. Mm. Did you know my keyboard, one that I've been using the game for years, and I only just discovered this today, has a fucking button on it that's like a quick macro for opening the computer's calculator? No, I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, there is. I just press the button and the calculator pops up. Well, that's nice. I have a quick button for sleep mode and airplane mode and turning the screen off. And turning the mouse pad I mean, off. You're right, Conquer. Endgame really is just grinding hell. Oh, God. See, there's a vicious cycle, Jimmy. The vicious cycle is as follows. Okay, so you're an endgame. Okay, you gotta get all this shit done. Like, there's this long list of just bullshit you need to take care of, including a Safi weapon. You finally get to endgame, and then you say, okay, well, what do I do now? And the game says, well, we're consistently updating with new monsters, with better equipment. So the loop is, you keep having to farm better and better equipment when then something comes out that's good for you. And until then, you're basically just running around killing monsters and building up your resources, so you literally never run out of anything. Mm. See, my concern with Monster Hunter World is that I'll get through the base game and be like, okay, that was fun, and then I'll have to go through grinding hell, like Conker calls it, to get into Iceborne. Because I, from my understanding, it's an expansion, so that means you go into it with, like, high-end gear from the beginning, of, from the base game. And Actually, that's they took care of that. Did they? Okay. There's this thing called the Guardian Armor Set that literally exists so that you can upgrade it over the course of both Monster Hunter World and Iceborne to basically carry you through the main story and carry you through Iceborne so you can get to end game. It's mm. basically just the central armor option when you're making an alt character. Mm. Which means it's going to be my main armor option for my main character for the entire game. <laughs> and you can choose to pick it right from the get-go because they literally designed it to just basically say, okay, people want to get to the end game and all the new crazy monsters we're releasing is free DLC. How do we do that? Well, let's just hand them armor that's just hilariously good. Hmm. Well, Nitro's been playing Subnautica. Finally decided to finish the damn game because PewDiePie started playing it. <laughs> I still haven't played Subnautica, but from my understanding, Subnautica is like it completely Fantastic. subverts your expectations because the the it's like Echo the Dolphin, right? Like the the um ti the titles not the title screen the uh, splash art and everything for it just seems like a colorful okay go and explore the ocean, and then you get to later on in the game and. There's kaiju underwater, and Echo's getting kidnapped by aliens, and... Echo the Dolphin was a fucking weird game, man. Actually, seriously, though. Like, if you haven't seen a playthrough of Echo the Dolphin, it's like an hour-long, crazy-ass game. Like, I, like acid dream, man. Like, that must have, must have happened when some game developer took way too much LSD. Because, like, holy shit. <laughs> go through the main story both the base game and iceborne fairly easily as long as you adapt to how monsters can act over time yeah i can probably do that i mean it doesn't seem like too it'd be too bad i'm just concerned that, that i'll get equipment walled but apparently that's taken care of so jimmy i have one word for you what? get good g-i-t-g-u-d i'm just sitting here counting like get goofy good. when uh, phil was telling him uh that he has three words and he says like six <laughs> <laughs> Sunburn getting blown up by the gun. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what you're referencing, Nitro, unfortunately. Alright, I'm logging in. I'm waiting in queue. I'm caught up for you, Uncle, for the uh, story quests. Mm. Well, you can do one of two things, because I need to do two Beast Tribe quests before we start. You can either go on your alt, or you can go ahead and unlock Castrombania and then go on your alt while you're waiting for me. It's up to you. See, what's funny about this is on my alt I'm infinitely less concerned about it because I'm finally up to the point where we're ending and all I need to do now is get on, do one main scenario run per day and I'll have my Skaven gear by the end of the week. Mm. Nice. Very and then nice. you know, it's just a matter of grinding Skaven gear for when we have to do patch content on Rory and I'm just like...
Well, those troops that uh, were at the Specula Imperatoris, is that what that what it's called? I've forgotten. It's been two days. We said they'd probably be okay. Let's hope they'll be okay for a little longer, because we have a couple of Beast Tribe quests to go do, and frankly, it's not that they're more important than our frontline troops, it's that, well, I'm a self-insert character, and I know that the story only moves if I move, so I think we can afford to take a little break. <laughs> you know, I can't help but wonder what it would be like if you actually played on a character that was, like, roleplay. Maybe, but it won't be on this character. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, the stream edition. Last time, we finished up our fourth major break in the story and continued along the main quest until we got to the peaks. And uh, now today, we have to continue to make sure our troops are okay. But before we do that, we also need to make sure our troops on the Beast Tribe lines are also okay. Because as you can see here, I have the Ananta and the Namazu both at maximum uh, reputation at the moment, so let's go do a quest for both of them, and then we'll head over to see about our troops. And I have just enough etherite tickets to not have to worry about um, teleporting, so that's good. Okay, Alpa, what have we got going on here at Castellum Veladina? Now that we've uh, established a foothold and patched a few of the holes. <sighs> okay, what's the report saying? Is she trying to tell us that, yeah, she's not molting? Okay, that's what I thought. It's cute to think <laughs> that all of this snake ladies just think, Hey, everybody molts! Well, the the thing is, is that we're on a time limit to fix up Castell and Belladina because if the broodmother back at uh, whatever the, the Vera home area is for, uh, not the Vera, but the, like, Ananta Vera home town is, if she molts, uh, she's going to come back and take her daughter back to be trained as the broodmother. So she has to fix this place up. And apparently they're going to demolish it. Uh, yeah, yeah, slow down. I need, I need full details before you tell me that they're going to demolish a bridge that's important for the uh, war effort. Right. Hey, look, an ether current. Ah. There's one inside of the fucking castro. Or the specula. Yeah, we, we kind of need this bridge because it's a good uh, fallback point if we ever need to retreat from where the front lines are. And yeah, we, we can't build a new bridge at the moment until the, you know, not until the Empire's taken care of. And there's also that, yeah. Oh, okay, so just, like, <laughs> redecorate the bridge, put a new coat of paint on it. I'm gonna need a lot of hands. How does one repaint an entire Imperial stronghold? Lots and lots of dye. Just if you want to get good weapons and or armor, you have to grind a bit for enough materials unless you have godly luck. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Or I'd like you're to... Mean, you're cursed. Hmm. I'd like to believe that I can make up for it by just getting good at the game, but I don't know. I guess I'd have to see once I played it. I've never told the stream the story of my curse, have I? And what's your curse? So, there's this monster, I'm pretty sure you've heard of it, called Zenogar, Jimmy. I am cursed, until the day I die, to always get way too many of the rare drop from that thing in any variant ever. Is that a bad thing? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Because as long as I am in the hunt, nobody will ever get the rare drop. I recall this vividly from back when I used to play 3U. Myself, Mark, and Tony were farming rare materials from Zenogar. And over the course of the four hours we fought this thing, now keep in mind, every run took us about 10-15 minutes. None of them got any rare drops. I got one per run. And you can't trade these to them? Uh-huh. Hmm. That would be correct, Conker. I remember once I needed Electro Fur and got three Sky Emeralds instead. I hate, I hate for you. 
<laughs> okay, well, we have to go back to Castramorians now in order to chat with that Twin Adder guy. Um, or not Twin Adder guy, Twin Adder girl. Uh, the Futaba look-alike if she was a cat girl. We're going to go chat with her because she might know how to... Uh, she might know enough history about the area to give us an idea of how we can put a fresh coat of paint on Castell and Velodyna. God, we wish we could trade materials with other people. <laughs> it almost Seriously? seems like it'd be easier, you know? Like, if you're in a party with a bunch of other people and you get something and they don't have it, it's like, okay, well, what do I do with this? It's useless to me, but it's perfect for them. Well, you see, that's sort of the debate among people in the Monster Hunter community is, what if we could trade materials? The downside to this is we'd basically be able to hard gear every single new player in endgame gear immediately without them having to work for it themselves, and then they'd get pissy because they'd have to grind more endgame equipment later on. Hmm. So basically it's just they want us to learn the game by grinding. Because the more you play, the better you get. That's the one thing I like about Monster Hunter is See? there's no set ceiling. See, I get that, but I don't agree to the design flat philosophy of get better at the game by grinding. The game should teach you how to be good enough by endgame to do all that stuff. Well, I mean, it does. I'm just saying more about technique. Hmm. Because as much as Monster Hunter just looks like chaos, a lot, of, a lot of decisions a player makes immediately are just thought through. Right. You don't just run up and hit the monster. you got to read its movements, if it twitches a certain way, what it's doing, how to dodge its attacks. Hmm. We'll see that you'll have a better time if you play with other people that you know. Well, I've got that pretty much covered, so <laughs> won't have to worry about I that too we much. I wish had GPS that I could play. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Griffin's Bane is my unofficial title here at the Castrum, but I would appreciate if you not call me that. <laughs> Just keep saying the same thing. Well, you could think of something other than that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Shriffen Shrain. Maybe, preferably, something that doesn't directly rhyme with it, either. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for, like, a symbol that we could stick on Castell and Velodyna that would uh, not piss people off. Any thoughts, Futaba? I know her name's I mean, Talamolko, yeah. but... Boss just... Futaba. I know her name's Talamolko, but I'm just going to call her Futaba. I mean, she's just going to put the Phantom Thief symbol on the side of the building, then. Probably. Flap, flap, oh, okay. Flap. Apparently, Griffin will work. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, okay, then. That actually is an interesting idea. A pair of Griffins would be different from a single one, because a single one was the royal family symbol when the Civil War happened. A pair of Griffins are inseparable. Just like all of Alamigo's people when this is all over, ideally. Well, okay then. You want me to bring you a Griffin? Where am I gonna find a Griffin? <laughs> Oh, Ralgir's Reach, okay. His name is Gif, and he's a griffin handler. Gif. Well, okay then. Now, thanks for the ideas, Futaba. I'm gonna head over to Ralgir's Reach then. See if I can't find a spare griffin. Kind of agree with both points you are saying where the game wants to get better, but also kind of shits on players who aren't that good, and the drop rates are really low for the rare materials. Hmm. I don't know, I, I feel like I just have to kind of play it to understand the design philosophy a little better. Just from what I'm hearing, I'm like, eh, I don't know, but that's how it is for most things. Usually if I if I play them myself, I'll understand a little better. So. Though to be fair, a world did kind of fix the whole, hey, you have to spend 20 hours grinding for a rare material thing. Hmm. Well, that's good. Where they were just like, okay, you're sick and tired of farming this thing? Hey, there's this thing you can get by doing certain objectives daily. It's a ticket that you just trade in for a rare material, but the downside is you need to kill the monster before you can actually get the rare material. So it's an MMO without being an MMO. I mean, to be fair, it's a hell of a lot better than 3U. Three 3U, mm. three they just said, oh, you need a rare material that has a 4% drop rate? Good luck! <laughs> it's kind of dropped you into the fire. Oh, boy. I remember in fucking 3U, all the Elder Dragons took, like, fucking 40 minutes to kill. Hmm. 
Gif, I would like to, yeah, borrow a griffin and may, maybe or maybe not give it back. I'm not 100% sure how, what they're going to do with it yet. Ideally, we will get it back, but... Give me back my son. Well, they needed it at Castellum Belladina, so... You're not seeing the bigger picture here, man. If they blow it to smithereens, we have to blow a hole in the rocks to get to the southeastern corner. The front lines will be cut off, and Ralgear's Reach won't be able to help anymore. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, he's bringing that griffin. Okay. Well, she looked like she was ready to roll, so... I suppose that could be the griffin. Not the false griffin. And not the real griffin, either, for that matter. This this is a new griffin. <laughs> This is a better griffin. We can griffin rebuild too. her better, faster, stronger. I don't know, man. I'm just glad that I can fly in this area. It makes it uh, getting to and from these places so much easier. You're not in the peaks, are you? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I am in I was say, When the fuck did you get flight in the peaks? Yeah, no, I can't fly in the peaks yet because there's no eth I can't get all of the quest ether currents until we continue with the story a little more. We might get to the point in the story where you can fly in the peaks today if you get all the ether currents, but we won't be getting all the ether currents until probably Saturday. So this is fine. And then once the weekend's over, we'll be able to fly in all of Stormblood. Also, Jimmy, if don't worry. I'm sponsoring time. your world stream when you do it eventually too. Ah. What do you mean sponsoring? Because, hi, who's paying for your PS Plus? Oh, well, yeah, there is that. I guess that makes you a sponsor, doesn't it? <laughs> if you don't, if you opt not to use it, even though I'm paying for it, I might crucify you. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see if I'm playing on PS4 or PC. We'll have to take a the note of who plays on what. PC version, trust me. What? PC version just eats processors. Hmm. Yeah, if I'm playing on PC, I don't know if I'd be able to play on this laptop. This this game makes this my uh, computer run slower, so. I mean, to be fair, 14 runs like butter on my computer. Like, it's always like 50 plus FPS, unless, of course, the Red Mage decides to LB. Mm. See, like, if it, again, if it goes below 60 FPS for me, I consider it not running smoothly, so. <laughs> well, that's just because you're used to 60 to 120 FPS. I never go above 60, but that's because it's it's, like, got a cap on it. See, the thing is, like, now, since I've been through this entire patch, and by extension just all of this shit, I don't need to read any of the dialogue anymore because I remember most of it. Hmm. Like, I could recite to you from where we are in the story all the way to the end of the patch content and pretty much exactly what happens. Yeah, and you shouldn't because you'll spoil the shit out of me. <laughs> I know you can, I'm just saying don't. I know, it's a matter of saying that I can, not that I will. Yeah. Because if I did that, I'm a douche. With the stream up world would likely lag for me on my laptop. That is, yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Conquer. I don't want to, I don't want to lag. I want things to run smoothly. So I'd probably need to upgrade computers before I played it on PC. So at the moment, we'd be playing it on PS4 if we played it. And uh, controller's a lot easier. Hmm. That's one of the few times I will actually say that controller's a lot easier to play a Monster Hunter game. Well, that's not very nice, Gif. Why is he being a goblin because he brought the griffin here and she's like well i'm going to decorate the bridge with a bunch of griffin statues and he's like are, are you serious i brought it all the way here just for a bunch of stupid statues and it's like okay gif slow down <laughs> gif stop being a goblin flap 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 yeah, Lap. every uh, Lap. Lap. every war needs that foundation in the back lines there gif you can't all we can't all be fighters we all have to be willing to fight for our homeland, but that doesn't mean we have to be on the front lines at all times. I'm sure he'll come around eventually. Oh, really? Hmm. No, I can't say I have. That griffin's pretty. Steal it, Jimmy. <laughs> I want one. Uh, what do you mean for yourself, Alpa? Oh, she actually wants it to buffet her with its wind attacks. Okay. 
I mean, to be fair, I've been buffeted with a Griffin's Wind Attacks before, and I just learned Alpine Draft out of it, so. Bro. I mean, if Alpa's a Blue Mage, this will work out pretty well for her. Controller's a lot yeah, better for a game like Monster like... Hunter. Mm. What? Flapping around mm. on a Griffin? I guess I could. Flap, flap, flap. Mm. Okay, I'll uh, see if I can tame her. Oh, or that could happen. Okay. <laughs> She's got some chutzpah, that one, I think. Alright, well, let's you know go so see. so many big words. I know some SAT words, yes. You know more oh, than a few. Okay. I was thinking we'd have or to go some. around the entrance, but no. Nope. Okay, GIF. Okay, I will do the best I can if the griffin will obey me. Alright, cool. Have you well, come okay. up with a well, name for the griffin yet? Hello. Uh, no, I'll have to think about that one. But... All right, let's let's get her in flight then, though. Yeah, that's a little bit different from a chocobo. <laughs> it's uh, this might take a little getting used to. <laughs> it's okay though. Uh, where is Alpa anyway? Oh, is she over here? Wait, what? Oh, she's over here. Okay. Why are you hiding? I know you said your friends uh, probably wouldn't like it if you if they got hit, but. All right, give her an alpine draft there, somebody. Oh, it's directly in front, okay. It's not uh, like alpine draft normally, it's a... St alpine draft normally is a straight line, so this is this is a cone. It, well, yeah, I wouldn't want you getting dust in your eyes because the thing... Bl okay. Ah, all right, Alpa, hang on. You crazy, girl. There you go. Did you get it this time? Okay. Did, did you get Alpine Draft? Do I need to, do I need to respawn the encounter? <laughs> well, she needs a third time. All right, let's give it again. Here we go. Well, I think that's a good thing. Oh, okay. What'd this? Sure. What'd this say? Said I definitely get how its prey feels now, so. Then that's the idea. She needed to feel that way in order to get a good idea of how to make the statue. Hmm. Okay, well then you go for it. Get to it, Alpa. Well, they weren't kidding when they said that they were pretty good at goldsmithing. That is a lot of gaudy stuff. But it's just oh, okay. So their version of goldsmithing is like our version of conjury. Okay, I see. They just use the aspected ether of the gold to create things with their staves. That's that's one way to do it. <laughs> Mr. Giraffe, can you please stop stabbing me? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's very imposing. They're, they're goldsmithing is something else, isn't it, Gif? I would just like to make a point. They just made a statue of a griffin out of pure gold. Yeah. And they didn't just make it out of pure gold, like, with their hands. They conjured it using magic. <laughs> By peeling the gold aspect out of the gold and putting it there. Well, I hope so. We did make the second statue, right? Because just the single statue might make things a little bit not as nice for them. Maybe they only needed to make the first statue, and then they could just make the rest of the statues. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Oh, okay, so they're in the process of making the second one. Yeah, it probably would have been a waste to tear this down, especially when we're still fighting the war. That actually might not be a bad idea if it's if she's willing to go. So, I mean, that would mean that. Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna say that would mean Gif would have to come here with the Griffin at all times. But if he's gonna send a dispatch out here with the Griffins, then that would make things a little easier. Okay. Sounds like you're gaining a few friends there, Alpa. That's that's a good thing. Leader needs a bunch of people underneath them, after all, to help prop them up in times of crisis, so... 
Pardon me, I'm crying. Why? The name of this quest. Hmm. I'm not going to say what the name of the quest is because you're going to get to it today. Oh, okay. If you read faster than you know, Grandma. Then, yeah, laziness. Well, that's step technically two complete. Let's see if we can uh, move along from there. They're like uh, like they were saying, we got one person, now we just got to get the rest of them. But in the meantime, we have these fancy gold statues to look at. And apparently the Resistance likes them. So that's a good thing. And by adding those statues to the front of Castellum Veladina, we achieve reputation up. We are now trusted by the gatekeepers. So that's good. And, okay, this is why um, I didn't actually do any of my Beast Tribe quests today because I wanted to see if there was going to be a quest bonus for the uh, Ananta and for the Namazu. Apparently there is a quest bonus for this rank. So uh, if I would have done my Beast Tribe quests already, I would have had to pick between the Ananta and the Namazu for which one I wanted to do uh, quests for because I have three with the Moguls, three with the Namazu, and three with the Ananta. So now I'll just do six with the Ananta and six with the Namazu and be good to go because the moguls at this point are basically on their concluding legs so if they have to wait a little bit and it means that these guys can go a little bit quicker to get to their conclusion that's fine not a big deal and we have more wares available to purchase from the uh the gatekeepers as well but nothing that i really care about for right now so Okay, next place we gotta go is Doro Ilo so that I can uh, demo. Well, actually, we've been here before and the music's been on, but um, you ever just hear music that like perfectly encapsulates the uh, what's happening in that area? It's like the music here perfectly encapsulates the, the Namazu and their festival. And their nonsense. Yes, and their nonsense. <laughs> It's just so silly and uplifting, man. <laughs> okay. Let's see what Gyoshin has for us this time. So how's the preparations coming along? Apparently good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, well, that sounds like a lot of work, but I'll do the best I can to help, I, I guess. Yeah, I could, I could tell. I mean, some of the ones from Yuzuka Manor like me okay. <laughs> I will, I will try, yeah. Okay. So you have all these hoppy and I just need to bring them to them? Okay, well that's not too hard. If only there was a decent etherite near Yuzuka Manor, but there is not, so we'll have to just teleport to probably Namai and then go from there. Or could I go to the House of the Fierce? No, because then i got to fly around the gate anyway, so we'll just go to Namai and fly up and around. Okay. Oh, right. yeah, that's right. I was like, wait, where's Confucius? But it's because I have my car for my crafters. So. Okay. Once I'm done with this quest call, I should be able to start working on uh, moving forward in the story. So you know again. when you get the cast from Abania. Okay. I'm going to be on my ult until then. Okay. Why did you already unlock it with Rory? Uh huh. Oh, wow. That's Fast. impressive. Any idea? Fuck How fast, fast I, I am. am. Fast as fuck, boy. I read the entirety of War and Peace in three and a half hours. I don't know if that's impressive or if you just weren't paying attention. No, I can just, like, read two pages at once by, like, diverting power to both of my eyes individually. <laughs> well, that's fair, I guess. I don't know, man. War and Peace put me to sleep on multiple occasions, and I eventually just put it down, to be honest. Oh, I know. I took a two-hour nap while I was reading it. That's why it was three and a half hours, not one and a half hours. Mm. Well, uh, 
Sir, why are you hiccuping like you're drunk if you've been drinking tea? Anyway, Does here, have a hoppy. Drunk? I hope not. What? Does tea get them drunk? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know how the Namazu work, but apparently he's gonna... Maybe he, you should wait until I can drive you. It's easier to do that than try to go yourself. Drunk flying is not easy. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it. Excuse me, what? How did you manage to read two pages at once? Hello, Todd. How are you doing? Apparently, Cole can divert power to both of his eyes individually to read two pages at Precisely. once. Precisely. Uh, actually, Gyorin, I was hoping you'd help out with the festival we're putting together. We even have a hoppy for you. There you go. Yes. Or, as you guys say, yes, yes. You can, in fact, wear the hoppy, and it is your own. Yeah, you might even get to sell a few things, so... Okay, well, I mean, they might like persimmons. There was a fried Namazu, a half-baked Namazu, and then Gyorin. What does that make Gyorin? Uh, raw? I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking raw! Well, I don't think I'm mistaken. If, if you want this hoppy, then that's why I'm speaking to you. Oh my god. <laughs> well, now we know why he's fried. It's because he uh, was so, like, out of it that he didn't feel like he had a reason to live. But I apparently just gave him a reason to live. So, okay. I'm saving catfish from jumping off of waterfalls today, so that's a good thing. Uh, oh back boy, to Dora running Ila. catfish is my fucking favorite. There actually was, though, like, one of the quests that I was doing um, as a part of this like the, one of the daily quests, it gave you an idea into what the apparent culture of the Namazu was because you go over to this one waterfall on the Asm Step and there's like this giant sheer cliff and apparently the Namazu, the ancestors of the current Namazu fought a bunch of battles to the death and when some catfish lost, some of the catfish lost, they broke off from the main group and hopped off the waterfall either into the underworld or to their deaths. But, mm. with that being said, the spiritual sites turned out to not be actual Namazu spiritual sites, so whether or not that's true is kind of up in the air. I don't know. It's half true. These guys, these guys are crazy, man. I love it. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, let's call everybody to a meeting, then. So we can let everybody know that we only need uh, 765 now, instead of 768. Well, don't you go getting sentimental on me now, Gyoshin. Oh, that actually is a good a good question. What's the festival gonna have to it? You haven't thought of this yet, have you? We're all gonna fall over like this is an anime now, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, oh dear is right. I, I think that's the understatement of the century. It's not like your people's fate is on the line here. <laughs> oh, okay, well, Sagetsu's got us then. Good. Oh, I don't like that look in his eyes. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, I said we were all gonna fall over. <laughs> It wasn't as uh, abrupt as it usually is in the anime when everybody falls over, but, you know. Oh. Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to know how a chrysanthemum and a, and a dango are uh, related, to be honest. I think he's just coming up with names for these books. There's things that sound funny in his head. Well, yeah, that's what a festival generally does. Gotta pray to big fish. Oh my 
god. <laughs> So we need to search the rivers then, so we can find a suitable offering. I guess, yeah, we could find a fish, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> okay then. But where are we gonna find big fish? I'm not on Fisher. I will do the best I can to keep them out of trouble, Saigetsu, but, I mean, even when I'm trying, that's usually for naught. <laughs> Well, I hope so. We're not going to get too far without it. Okay, so how do we do it? You want me to make bombs, basically. Well, if I have alcohol in my crate of culinarian goods, I could probably make a few Molotov cocktails. Oh boy, I love roasting fish with Molotov cocktails. No, we're roasting the combustible altar elements. <laughs> Uh, what do we got? Synthesized sets of altar components. Alright. Let's see here. They've given me all the materials, though, which is one of the other reasons why I really like the Beast Tribe quests, because I don't gotta even go collect my own components. They just give them to me. So, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, the materials themselves, though. Let's see. Sets of altar. Oh, right. We kind of need to go get our materials. They're over here. In one of many cumbersome crates that they have in this area. I think, the, some crates. I think the reason, though, why they give you these crates is because you can do this on either a crafter or a gatherer. So, like, the crates are there either as a means of collecting your materials, or if you do it on a gatherer, it's the place where you put all of your materials. I, I would think, anyway. I haven't done any of these quests on gatherers yet because I don't need to level any of my gatherers. They're all at 70 or higher, so, yeah. Uh, these are just normal quality, right? Yep, okay, muscle memory time. Bah! Ain't even mad, don't even need to worry about the high quality stuff. Just do it. I love muscle memory, it's such a good skill. <laughs> Although, usually, in the cases where you need to use muscle memory, you either get it on the first shot anyway, or you don't need a high quality it anyway, so typically I, I don't really have to worry too much if I use muscle memory, but that's eh, alright. It works. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, it's real. Because that wasn't what I said. It wasn't. Hmm. I wasn't expecting him to say that. What are you even doing? I'm doing things on my alt while I'm waiting for my cue from main scenario. Ah, okay. Still not sure what crafters and gatherers you want to pick up. Yeah, I would say what Todd says is a good idea. Um, anything that helps your class classes that you play as your main would be good. Um... Honestly, it's always a good idea, I think, to pick up Blacksmith or Armorer. I didn't pick those up myself, um, but they usually can make pretty decent chunks of money on the market board because they can make weapons and armor for people, and you can make your own weapons and armor yourself. What I decided I wanted to do, though, is um, I wanted to get two classes that synergized well with one another because my plan originally was only to play one single crafter and one single gatherer. Obviously, I've branched out a little bit since then, but you want to get something that synergizes well together. Uh, if you want to do that, then uh, I would say, like, um, for me, Goldsmith and Miner syn synergizes really, really well because I can probably count on one hand how many recipes I need as a Goldsmith where I can't just get the materials as a Miner. Um, like 99% of the, of the recipes you can do with just mining materials. So There will be times where high quality stuff will beat out stuff you get normally, that and you can pawn off anything you don't want. Yes, that's also true. Yep. It's a good way to make some uh, extra cash. So, I mean, honestly though, even just gathering is a good idea for that sort of stuff. Although I don't know how profitable rocks are anymore, but I literally bought my house in this game by selling granite for people's housing stuff so I made my fortune off blue cheese mm. it's the silly little things that you wouldn't expect that you sell and make money off of so but yeah it's you just got to think about conquer if you want to do one crafter or many because there's no in between you either pretty much you do one of them or you do all of them um, and for gatherers you just want to get something that works well with your crafter or crafters so to answer your question as to what just murdered me 
Uh, I was talking to a cat. Mm -hmm. And the response was, like, because this thing was obviously some kind of magical creature from another dimension. The response was, you can talk to or a talking cat. And there's a unique response if you're a Makote where the cat says, have you looked in the mirror lately? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. It's obviously I stuff that has to be crafted died. like weapons added many patches later specifically to be glamour pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's a good chunk of those that are usually pretty expensive, or I should say very expensive on the market board. So if you want to make any of those to make some good money, it's a good idea. It, basically, here, here's what you got to kind of decide when it comes to crafters. Do you want to craft to do the Beast Tribe quests, or do you want to craft to make money? Because if it's the, if it's the former, then just pick one, whatever uh, whatever tickles your fancy. And if you want, or if you want to make money, you need to pick like more than one, usually all of them. <laughs> um, and then you just take gatherers that synergize well with whichever one you choose. So, I do like crafting and gathering in this game, though. It adds a little bit of a puzzle element to the game, I think. Um, gathering is a little more brainless, but crafting itself is a nice little break sometimes from all the action. So, I've tried to convince Cole to do it for a while, but it, it hasn't exactly worked. <laughs> because I don't like puzzles. I like murder. I have a question for you, though. Do you like money in your pocket? I can make my fortunes off blue cheese. I know. I'm just saying, if you like money in your pocket, you can keep all of... Because of the way that they changed materia melding now, if you have a crafter at level for the level that you want to meld stuff, it doesn't matter what crafter it is, as long as you have a crafter at the level that you want to meld stuff, you can meld it for free now. So that's like hundreds of thousands of gil over time that you save in melding costs. Yeah, I, agree, I, I think it would get I boring like after a while, Todd, but here's the thing for me is I don't do it often enough that it really has gotten boring for me, so I don't know. You're gonna need to once we get to 80. I don't even want to think about what the melding costs are gonna be like for that. <laughs> you could always just request a meld from me. I can do those. Anyway, we made the altar, so that's good. Yes, Jimmy, I could request a meld, but follow me here. I would have to request, like, 90 melds. Nah, I'll just get it one of my- oh my god. <laughs> it, let, let me guess, they're gonna show me these morbid scenes of dead Namazu for like the entire quest line, aren't they? In seven years, the One River was fated to experience a fish famine, depriving the Namazu of their primary food source. Many would have died. However, continuous fishing of large predatory fish for use as offerings over the course of seven years will allow smaller fish to flourish, creating a healthy ecosystem and ensuring bountiful catches for the foreseeable future. Great. <laughs> so the predatory fish aren't going to murder everything now. That's good. Unbeknownst to all, the Namazu will be spared the grievous tragedy that could have consumed them, and their fate continues to change for the better. Well, as long as we keep moving, then hopefully we don't accidentally cuck over their good fortune by doing something. And if we do, I guess we'll just have to beat fate, won't we? In any case, we've obtained trusted reputation with the 777. And we get a quest bonus here as well, so I'll do those. And there's new wares available as well. And I leveled up to level nice. With uh, Culinarian, anyway. And we got a new skill for it as well. Reflect. No, it doesn't create a barrier that reflects magic back to the enemies, unfortunately. If it did, I could actually play Culinarian as a battle class, but uh, no, they won't let me do that. What Reflect does is it gives you three stacks of Inner Quiet if you use it on the first step. So it's a similar thing to Muscle Memory, except it's if you're going for quality instead of uh, for progress. It's actually really nice. I, I've used it a little bit in some of my melding that I've, or not melding, crafting that I've done with Carpenter at or above the level that I, like, like I have some recipes that I've done for the Crystarium quests over here. Uh, any of these logs that you see in my inventory that are high quality, Reflect has basically helped me make them with the exception of these Miracle Apple Lumbers. Those I just bought off the board because they were like 200 each, so. But yeah, any high quality ones that you see, the reason why they're high quality is because of Reflect. You, three inner quiet stacks on step one is nothing to fuck with, so. <laughs> but yeah, that takes care of that. Anyway, we're done with our Beast Tribe quest for now. We've got them to trusted rank, and we'll keep moving from there. 
The Moogles were still a ways away, but they shouldn't be too terribly long to fix up. If anything, they'll get done around the same time. Like, if I have to do this with quest bonuses with the Namazu and the Ananta, then the Moogles will just get pushed back until about the same time as the Namazu and Ananta, which is not a big deal, so. All right, let's uh, head back to uh, Alagiri, shall we? I have an Aetherite ticket to spare, and we'll go there. Like money and glamour, but dude, four hours of gathering to level one of them kills you on the inside, and that's not all at once. When you come back, you're doing nothing but crafting, gathering, and beast tribe quests and rum reborn, you want mounts and money. Well, thankfully, the um, the crafting, gathering, and beast tribe, like, the beast tribe quests kind of synergize well with that, because you'll get your crafters up if you just do, like, the Exal, then the Moogles, then the Namazu. Like, I gained how much experience from that single Namazu quest? 6.9 million experience. And, Fuck. and you need, I mean, I'm at level nice, where I need 11 million to level up, but that's still, like, over half a level. And that's for the last level that the Namazu are appropriate for, you know? So it's like, you got nothing to worry about. If you do your crafters like that, you'll be fine. So. See, my, the one thing my brother is skilled at is finding really easy solutions to complicated problems in 14. Oh, my crafters are a pain in the ass to level up here. Beast drive quests. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I did my research on those because I didn't want to do any... I hate grinding. I just want to put that out there. I'm sure it's obvious at this point, but I, I dislike grinding in any sense and form in most video games. And the idea of grinding in an MMO is like something that everybody's like, well, you just get used to it. And I'm like, no, I would, I would hate the video game if I had to grind in it. So I tried to find solutions that would feel less like grinding and feel more like doing something productive. And so far it's been met with a decent chunk of success, so. Hate grinding, but maxed aura out in Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> I didn't max it out, actually. You don't actually have to max out aura to get the full benefits of it. Um, if you get it to level 8, I want to say, you get, and all 8 stacks of it hit, you get the full benefit in terms of uh, what creatures it can hit for a bonus, so. Uh, what did I max out in... Two. I think the only spells I've ever maxed out in Final Fantasy II were uh, Cure and Toad. Uh, cure because it's really easy to max Cure out. Oh, no, I've maxed Teleport as well. Actually, I did that uh, at one point just as a as a soul as part of my single character challenge. So, what call? Oh, okay, he took his mic off. Um, but yeah, Cure is really easy to max out in two, and then. Uh, and then teleport you could just do by doing it in the field. And uh, toad you do that because there's a mini game in, that you can do on the snowcraft in the game. And if you get your toad levels to level 16, it changes the mini game's uh, rewards to something that's more appropriate for end game. That being said, I when we play Final Fantasy 2, I will not be maxing out toad. I probably won't be maxing out cure if I'm being honest with you. Because you don't, you'd never need to. That's the thing. There's, there's no need to max out any spells in, in two. Like it's, the, the benefits are obviously helpful because it means you hit your spells more often. But like, yeah, you don't need to, which is why I'm not going to. <laughs> it may be cure, maybe cure will get maxed out. But just yeah. If I max anything, now that I've said that, you're going to smite me. Okay, challenge accepted, Todd. <laughs> I will see what I can do. Anyway, now that we've finished up our Beast Tribe quest, let's go see if everybody's okay. Well, there was we technically lost two days in about 45 minutes there, I'll say, but yeah, I'll follow you. I'm back. Welcome back. I chatted and over I'm top of you. I'm still waiting in queue for DPS for main scenario. Ah. Unsurprising. Hmm. Okay, let's get uh, over to... Specula there, Confucius. Excuse me, good lord. Excuse me again. I don't know if we're going to have to fight the Kangamatos along the way. This one I can avoid because he turned his back to me, so. That's rather nice, but probably just seeing Confucius out might be helpful. I mean, he's he's a symbol of victory for me, so. He is your griffin. Hmm. Well, what do we see, Ali say? No, we gotta get in there so we can, f yeah, we gotta find everybody. Even though I'm pretty sure I just saw his, uh, I'm pretty sure I just saw his name tag sticking out from the inside of the thing, but. All right, let's go inside. 
The locks on the massive gate appear to have been disabled. You need only prize them open to pass through. Well then, let's go. And discover Jimmy a new location. Rips the doors open with his bare fucking hands. No, it wouldn't be the first time I've done that. I did it in Mass Effect 3. I'll do it here, so. 180 to the northeast. This is going to be somewhat close to here, then. All right. Keep that in mind. Oh, this this is a bit of a grim scene. Oh, boy. It, yeah, I, I, I noticed. They seem to be getting more desperate, which is a good sign because it means we have them on the ropes, but it's also a bad sign because, you know, a lot of people died. He was in the tower? Oh, dear God. Okay. Yeah, let's see what we can do to help these soldiers, and we'll go look for your brother, don't worry. We just gotta- we just gotta tend to our wounded down here first. There's a little speck of dust on my screen that's, uh, making, uh, everything look like it's not there. You all right there, sir? Here, let me help you up. Get to your feet, soldier. Okay, good. Yeah, get to a healer. Get those wounds looked at. What about you? I think we need to get you up, too. Come on, now. On your feet, soldier. I don't know that they were thinking, to be honest. I've, I've taken to thinking that Xenos just does things because he has the, the fancy to do things, so... Okay, come on now. You gotta get up too. Something, something, because I can. Yeah. Don't you die on me! I have to murder my entire army because I can. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, here's the ether current that uh, my thing was talking about. How many do we have now in the peaks anyway? We're missing one, two, three, four. Okay. So there's three more in this area, like th this, the south section, and then I'm pretty sure there's one in the quarry area on the north section that we'll have to go get. Uh, in a little while. We can't quite get down there because, well, obviously it doesn't uh, go down there. So. Where's the next one, anyway? 350 to the east. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I don't think this one's getting up. Come on, now. Gotta breathe some life into them. Apply pressure to those bullet wounds. Just use Adlaw. If I was on Scholar, I would. Man, I switched to Scholar when I started this quest. I was like, fuck. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's not good. Roll waiting list number three! Nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Saving your life again. <laughs> Let's not make this a trend, shall we? Oh, you're welcome. Just glad you can walk. Uh-oh. Alright, what happened to Conrad? We gotta go see. Oh, Alfie Node's okay. Hello. That's a surprisingly small amount of fanfare, considering, but okay. Uh, we'll get Ali say here in a minute, Alfie Node. First, I think we need to take care of this. Actually, yeah. Oh, Cole, yeah. I think Cole had the yeah, right yes. idea. Hang on. Let's swap over to Scholar, see if I can do anything. For poor Conrad there. Conrad! Conrad, speak to me! Come on, man. You gotta wake up. It was all so sudden. Conrad had just convinced the last few skulls to surrender when, when, when we heard the bang and, and everything started to shake. We well, carried yeah, the I survivors imagine. to safety, but Conrad's... We have done what we can for him. All that remains is to pray. Let's hope he gets up. Okay, well, that's stirring. That's Conrad. some signs of life. You ain't dead yet. Is that you, Lise? I can't see a damn thing. Well, that's not bad. Time's up. What do you mean, time's up? Don't you die on me, old man! What are you talking about? You'll be on your feet before you know it! 
It's all right, Lisa. I've lived long enough. But listen, I want... I want you to lead the resistance in my stead. Don't say another word. You'll recover. We'll recover. We'll bring freedom to Alamigo together. We're not going to stop here. No, no, you won't. Everything we've built, everyone we've brought together, I know you'll show them the way. You've got it in you, Lise. Not because you're Curtis's daughter or Ida's sister, but because... Because you're you. Because... You're you. Conrad. Damn, man. Lead them to victory. To freedom. For Alamigo! And all that. I will, Conrad. I will. I promise. Well, that's what he needed to hear. Another brave soul. Gone with the wind. It's like we said before, though. There's no winners in this war. We might achieve victory, but... Uh, we, we lose a lot in the process. Something, something, Zenos is... A, something, something, Zenos is going to get thrown off a cliff. Hmm. And hopefully Meanwhile, in the chaos of Castromabania... And I'm sure it is chaos, considering they just fired on their own guys. What do we do? If they're willing to kill our own men, then what do we do? What if we're next? <laughs> I think I know that guy. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Wish I had that dive. Hmm. It's a pretty good, uh... It's a pretty good Dragonfire dive you got there, Stinian. So is he just, like, aspected with Needhog now? Like, he, he's... he's Because he channeled him into his body, it's like a summoner. He can just kind of use the power whenever he wants now, huh? I was kind of just under the impression that he just renamed the Lance, uh, Midhog. Yeah, I guess he could have, because Life of the Dragon sort of works like that, right? Like, because basically when you get Life of the Dragon, you get the glowy thing, and then you, uh, Gear Scogel changes, right, to Nastron? Aye. Hmm. You're welcome, boy. Who's he saying you're welcome to? I think he's talking to you, Jimmy. Probably. Meanwhile, back at Specula Imperatoris, why are my ears ringing? Was there a flashbang around here somewhere? <laughs> the spear. You ever just get a spear and then nobody does anything and the spear falls off and you just start crying? Uh, no. <laughs> Can't say I have. <laughs> the British are coming! The British are coming! Except in this case, it's like the opposite. It's like the Americans are coming, in this case. From their perspective, anyway. Hang on, we gotta talk to Elise after this. Yeah, I mean, there ain't much else she can say at this point. Poor Elise. Hey, SB, how's it going? Oh, Alphanode is boy to him. Okay, so he's saying that you're welcome to Alphanode. Gotcha. So, okay, so that makes sense then. That's why Alpha Node is okay, probably because Estinian rescued him. We just haven't gotten to that part yet. Well, you did. Don't ever try to tell yourself you didn't do the right thing. Hang on, Alpha Node. No, that, that wasn't their answer. The, 
that wasn't the answer of the people you were talking down. That was the answer of the crazy guy who's controlling all of them from way over in Castromavania. But I get where you're coming from. For sure, I've, I've felt that way before. Okay, Eos, I think you've done enough. Let's go back to Samurai. Yeah, let's think this through now. We, As much as I'd like to go charging blindly into everything, they kind of just shot at us with a giant cannon. So even in my case, I'm pretty sure... Like, that that's the kind of cannon that puts Sapphire Weapon to shame. So I don't, I don't think I could handle something like that. Not directly. So. Oh, he's saying you're welcome for helping keep them from firing on Alpha Node and Co. Again, it's just, I broke their shit, you're welcome kind of thing. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah, we gotta go back to Alighieri then, so we can regroup. So let's go do that as I step over that person's body. Uh, let's Corpse. see. There's Ali Say, there she is. Well, good news, I found your brother. Bad news, Commander Kemp is probably not coming back with us unless he's in a body bag. Yeah, do. But we need to get out of here, so that, you know, we don't get... join him in the body bag. Yeah, he's okay, but, well... Uh, promote lease? Probably. Yeah, let's go back to Alighieri and regroup, yeah. That's that's probably the best choice at this point. Let's get out of here! Alright, come on guys, pick up your dead, and you're dying, and let's go heal them somewhere else. We need Don't to be anywhere wrong, but here. What call? I appreciate that the game finally gave me fucking Praetorium, but still, I'm in a rush here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I had to finish this and one more thing on my alt before I go back on Roaring, and I'll be very sad if I can't finish both. But to be fair, I have plenty of time. Why, why do you have to do them before going back on Roaring? I mean, I know now why you gotta finish Praetorium, because you're in Praetorium, but like... You could this wait to do the other thing it. until you go on Rory to help with Castrumbania. Uh-huh. Ah! Oh. Uh, this Imperial? I don't know if we should finish him. We might be able to take him back and question him. Yeah, well, depending on the day, I might have, but... In this particular instance, I think it's probably for the best that we uh, we let you regroup. You, your soldiers just fired on you, man. Maybe now you can see some reason. You can see why I'm not too keen on the idea of joining the Empire. Because that, that ain't cool, yo. It's a good moment. Prior to the cutscenes being mandated, Praetorium was faster unless people knew the cannon strat and Castor Meridianum. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, before they mandated the cutscenes it w it was faster, yeah, cuz you can, you know, just basically if you're new you just watch the cutscene and then after the first couple of cutscenes it's like, "Oh, 60% of the dungeon's already done." Well, that's something. But I can see why that was a, a problem, obviously, cuz then you don't get to do it unless you don't watch the cutscenes, so Honestly, the only reason I like like the Castra more than Praetorium now is those last few bits of like Praetorium just drag. Like once you finally get the ultimate weapon, it's just like, oh. It does take a little while to get through it, yeah. You all right there, sir? Tell me your tourniquet came loose too. That's me. All right. Well, if you need a heal, just tell me. I'll just I'll switch over to Scholar. Worst comes to worst. Okay, a bunch of Erukas. Don't need those. I'm gonna see if I can discover the uh, this next section of the map over to my uh, to my left, to the right actually. So it's over here. Just see if I can push the boundaries again a little bit. Can I like Skyrim horse my way up this? not, but there's probably a way up somewhere. Yeah, here we go. There we go. 
Aha, got it. Okay, now we can go through here. Let's just hope the mood suits don't uh, take too much notice of me as I go through here. It's not that I don't want to fight them, it's that, well, they're just a distraction at this point. I don't need the levels or anything, so. Same. And I mean, I could just teleport straight to Alagiri, but I gotta call as much of an opportunity as possible to get back to us here. <laughs> so I can help in from Abania. Trust me, there is no way in hell you're going to have the shit unlocked before I finish Bray. I don't think you're that fast. It's that long, huh? It's just there's cutscenes. Ah, okay. Okay, let's take stock of our people here. He was pretty stubborn about sticking around before, wasn't he? He stuck around through our first attack that Xenos did, so... Yeah, that's the problem. Some of mm -hmm. them... Some of the people weren't, aren't going to be coming back from this attack. But that doesn't mean that we can stop. We gotta... If we stop, we're no better than the, you know, the people who have been oppressed for 25 years. It's got to end somewhere, and we've got to be the ones to end it, so... <clears throat> Yes, exactly. So, what needs doing? Okay, good. So now, yeah, if we if we speak to the general, he's been in situations like this before, so he'll he'll have a good idea of what to do and where to go from here. I think. I don't think any of the uh, quests uh, quests that give. Uh, ether currents have unlocked on the south side yet. We did both all of the ones that were over on the north side for now, but there's a few to do, I think, on the south side, but we won't be doing those for a little bit yet. There's one, two, three to do on the south side, I think. Yeah, his was a loss that... Eh, I, I can't say I really saw it coming. Right probably a good idea. Let's take a minute to pray for the people that are gone. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're stuck on this road. There ain't no getting off this train we're on until we reach the end of the line now. So steal yourselves, because uh, we ain't stopping anytime soon. There ain't no brakes on this fucking revolution. Hmm. Yeah, the cannon is kind of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder why they, uh... I mean, from our perspective, like, from our perspective outside of the characters, we know why they stopped firing. It's because Astinian decided to slam his lance into the cannon's uh, ceruleum lines. Uh, but from here, in, in character, we wouldn't know why they stopped firing at this point, so... It's possible. Which means we have to hurry, because if we don't hurry, uh, they might get the cannon operational again. And since this is the Imperials we're talking about, they're a lot faster at that shit than we think they are. Mm hmm Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, obviously you don't know Lise as well as the rest of us do there, Minago. She, she's the kind of leader who has to be out there on the front lines with her people in order to feel fulfilled as a leader. Hmm. Yeah, Hein. So now she's seen how the leader does it, so she has to follow his lead. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get rid of her that easily there, Minago. Well, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have done it even if you didn't ask. 
I'm used to leading the charge at this point, so what's one more? I didn't even look at what the second option was, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's the idea. I even agreed with him on it. It was the first option that I took when I talked to him, surprisingly enough. <laughs> I'm she she'll be fine, Ali say. I know what you're thinking, but she'll be fine. Well, right, but that doesn't mean that we can at least is qualified to help us stop that line of death that's been happening, so. <laughs> like you were going to get rid of me anyway. You can't get rid of me. I'm the main protagonist. Mm. Uh, these are both blacksmith options. Cole, you don't need a high-quality mold of denim, gunblade, or chakrams, right? I'm good. Okay. Materia it is. Even though I don't need it, uh, I can decent that longbow. That's good. Just vendor the shit out of it, Jimmy. What, the materia? Yeah, the materia, I might yeah. end up having to because it sells for like a, a pittance on this server. And it doesn't sell quickly, so. But I do know I can uh, decent that Zelkova longbow that's there. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, then I'll follow. I'll follow you then to Neon Crips Hope. I can't say that I said that correctly. Probably not, but you know. We are at Nero in terms of play progress through uh, Praetorium. Okay. Or there might just be some ancient golems guarding the way. Big deal. We'll, we'll kill them. <laughs> oh, okay. We're actually going to be climbing up the cliffs. Well, that's new. Usually I just fly over them, but obviously at this point I, I kind of can't. So. Alright. 437 northeast. That would put it probably up there on top of Nuncrypt's Hope, if I had to guess. So, okay. Well, let's go meet Lisa at the cliffs then, so that we can uh, ideally get up there. What's this other spot? The Scabbard. It's the Bull's Bath, Cold Hearth, and then Castrum Abania is up there. The Radiata is there, the Iron Road, and then the Locks. Hmm. Quite a few places we haven't explored yet, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get there. Eventually. All right, I'm going through this Chapuli. He's he's right in my path. I ain't gonna let him make me go all the way around. Just gotta do that. There we go. Yeah, still though, two thousand experience with. Uh, for Confucius per enemy uh, defeated. Ain't no, uh, ain't nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. Okay, what Imperials want to fight me down here? Or the Guardian Beast, yeah, the Golem that she was talking about. Just gonna turn him in case he has a cone or something. Why make Confucius take additional damage if he doesn't have to, right? Yep, see? Actually, he might still be in that, but that's okay. He'll be fine. This beast, though, will not be fine. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Let's hope I can climb while blindfolded. You know, once Lise gets here. Ah, there she is. Got the climbing gear? Yeah, uh, apparently so, but we, we took care of it pretty handily, so. Alright, up we go. Can't say I've gone rock climbing in this game before, not without flight, but... That is a ways up, isn't it? I, I see we've uh, basically found Noah's Ark up there. Really? I could probably keep going. Maybe I just have more stamina than you do, Lise. No. That sounded painful. Mm. Not as painful as listening to Neuro talk for the 175th time. Mm. 
Well, yeah, you gotta care pretty highly about your fellow man if you can build an arc this big to carry all of them. Apparently it still works, too, considering the pulsating technology on the outside. Whoa, technology! Bruh. Hey, Yugman, how's it going? We are working our way through story quests. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, it's just kind of a... You, you especially get used to it after a time of doing it. Eventually people stop phasing you in terms of saying, No, we don't want you to do this. It's like, no, listen to me. I know you want me to do this deep down. You don't have to say it anymore. It's fine. <laughs> well, you don't have to be a leader like them, Lee. So you have to be a leader yourself. That's the thing. Like, leaders aren't necessarily stuck in a box of specific checkpoints that they have to check off, and or, or else they're not a leader. Like, you could be a leader in the field, you know? And I think that the people of Alamigo would appreciate the fact that you can be a leader in the field. And, yeah, still stay true to yourself. Okay. Let's get a look at, uh, well, there's Specula. Now we just gotta look at, uh, where, uh, the Castrum is. Yeah, but you can't think like that, Lise. It's, it didn't happen. Well, the Empire does. Okay, that would explain why the cannon's not operational, if it's smoking that badly. Right. So we should go tell them the good news, huh? Yeah, exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page here, Elise. Okay, then let's go make a plan and let's get in there. Yeah. Let's get down the cliffs. I'm sure climbing down will be uh, a little easier on the energy, but gotta be careful jumping down. I mean, I know we're not in battle, so we'd only take all but one of our HP and damage, but I'd rather not do that. Alright, that's what I was saying in so many more words. Okay, then let's go convince them. First, let me take the bow that you gave me and uh, desynth it real quick. Do I have anything else to desynth? I don't think so. Yeah, that's everything else, so... Okay. Desynthesis. Bah! There we go. What did I get? Oh, worsted yarn. Don't know what the hell that is. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh well. Uh, I can't decent any of that stuff, so I guess we're taking materia again. Yeah, let's go report to Robon so that they can uh, they can hear what we saw. And I think Confucius is about to uh, pop out here. I'll throw another Gasol green. These are a lot easier to replace than the Silcus Buds. They're significantly less expensive. I don't know why I used Gecko there. I should have used uh, Hakaze. Oh well. I think actually I might know why. I think my um, muscle memory when I do charge in motions, like gap closers like that when I was doing uh, uh, Gyoten, I'm more used to doing that on a tank, and on my tanks my 3 hit combo is 654. So that might be why I didn't get there. Oh well. I guess it's not a huge deal. General? Uh, yeah, pretty good news, all things considered. Yep, somehow, some way. We don't know how exactly. Well, I know, but they don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, can we afford to think of it as a trick at this point, you know? I wonder if uh, the little uh, metal thing on the back of Alfie Node's shirt there is an actual hood that he can put up at any point, or what? Because it looks like it'd be a pretty cool it hood. It is a hood. Is it? 
You've never we have put, seen him put it on before. Have we? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. hmm. If we have, I don't remember. Okay, well, we could do that then. Yes, that is a that is a good point. Yeah, if we just send in a small force, a small strike team, that would work okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Radiata is not too far away, so. I wonder if they have a book called Radiant Historia in Radiata. Kirk. Okay, cool. So we just got to go to Radiata, and then we'll go from there. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm in this one for the long haul, so... Okay, we'll keep in contact and let you know when we're ready to march on in. Class is going to be starting real soon, so you'll be switching over to mobile for a while, possibly for the rest of the stream. Okay, Conquer, no problem. Don't work too hard in class. Hopefully, uh, it's not going to be anything too complex. <laughs> no, I get it, Alpha Note. I would have agreed with you anyway, so. Oh. And yeah, there is that, so. Well, then let's go see if she's in there so we can, uh, we can, you know, rescue two birds with one stone. Uh, okay, hang on. I was actually trying to talk to Lise, but. Yeah, exactly. We will do so. Apparently the Alliance has friends in high and low places. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Ali. Say, we'll be fine on our own. Okay, I can descent that cane, or I could descent either of these two as well. <sighs> I'll have to think about that one. Right. Okay. Well, now they won't have to worry about making inroads there because we're about to make a uh, very wide gap in the road for them. <laughs> hmm. I mean, we could just ask Pippin. He's right there. A Rogadin woman. We have to say courage. Okay. That's a word that comes up a lot in normal conversation, I would think, in an area that's preoccupied by the... Or rather, just regularly occupied by the Empire, but... All right. Uh, that over there is probably an Aether current quest. Yeah, out of sight. So we'll need to grab that eventually. But not now. So apparently this isn't up on the cliffs after all. Maybe it's up, uh... Maybe I'm underestimating how far Yalm is. Maybe it's closer to, like, uh, Specula there. Like, just past it or something. I don't know. I do know, however, that we're gonna find out because we're heading that way, so... Fuck a hell, Gaius. If you talk anymore, you're gonna make my ears fall off. Just don't fall asleep while he's talking. I almost just did. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I've done these fucking main scenario runs right now. I could probably do them while I'm asleep. I mean, probably. I don't know if there's a way around here. Uh, maybe if I go behind the building. Those look like stairs. Okay, well, this might have buffed out. I was going to say, I don't know if this is going to buff out, but I think it buffed out. Yeah, it buffed out. We're good. And that guy didn't even notice me. Nice. Now his friend's going to notice me as a result, but I'll do the best I can to go around. Let's see here. 389 East. So actually, it's probably over by this fate then, by Mount Yorn. Okay. And I think there aren't too many left now. 
Yeah, three more. So there's only actually two more down in this area that we need to find, because like I said, I'm pretty sure there's one that's uh, still in the northern section of the uh, map, so that we missed when we did our ether current quest up there way back on like stream number, what, 12 or 13? I forget at this point. What do you think it's going to be, an ambush? That's what I'm thinking, Alfie Node, but I guess they might have uh, invested in stealth camo or something. The bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you! Nice try, but not for a trained samurai like yourself, eh? I would say cyborg, like the line actually says, but, you know, I'm not a cyborg. How the fuck does or am I? train a cyborg? I don't know. AI training? VR training? VR training. Yeah, that. You know, okay. it seems like well. we can't go stream without us without making a Metal Gear Rising reference. I mean, that is what my channel's known for, so I'm not really all that shocked. Oh! Uh, what? Stretching. Oh, okay. Uh, I just have to get through two more Lahabra speeches and I can go back to Rory. Finally here on mobile. Welcome back, Conker. Ideally, uh, you'll be able to stay there on mobile for as long as is needed. Looks like we're going to be encountering some heat in a, in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me, good lord. <coughs> Stop Hang on, I can't pause. My throat's killing me, but I gotta kill these guys first. <coughs> That's it, Confucius, bury him. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Well, I had some water. That was still weird, and my <clears throat> voice is still giving out. I hate when it does that, man. Only seems to do it when I'm on the streams, too. Oh, well. No big deal. We're good now. Once it buffs out a little more, I'll be I'll be able to speak at normal volumes. Who's Griffin is that? Oh, it's a true Griffin. Apparently we can fight wild ones over here. All right. And I think someone's fighting Oh, that's an A rank. Okay. Aquabua Melu. Aqua yeah, Melu earlier. Huh. We'll still be running around. Is that why we're getting all excited and pumped up, Lee? So you want to go fight it? Or are you talking about beating up Imperials? Probably the latter. Yeah. Hate to die to a few patrols after all of that. Okay. Then that's what we'll have to do, won't we? Yeah, I don't think I can fight Aqua Bleh 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 right now, so I'm going to have to probably just traipse past the guy. Probably, probably be like, wait, what the hell are you doing? Help me with this thing. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't think I'm capable. I'm in 330 gear, sure, but like, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm able to fight it off. I get the feeling he's going to be there for a while as well. At least he's got the aggro of it. Oh, okay, hello. Well, I'll have to keep this busy while he uh, fights that thing off. Well, okay. How about no circle of death? Uh-huh. Well, that didn't exactly work out for you now, did it? Okay, let's see here. Uh, 223 Northeast. Actually, maybe this is the one that I was catching on my compass um, from way down at the bottom of the place. I don't know. It's probably... Whoops, that's not right, the right button. That's the right button. 161 to the north, to the direct north. So it's wherever that is, maybe. 
Yeah, so probably what you have to do is you have to go down here by Alagana and uh, go up the side here to Wither Wander and then over to here uh, to uh, Momaroon's Milk or the F4 and uh, grab it from there. So we'll have to go get that one uh, later, I guess. If, if we have to do something to wait for Cole to be finished with Praetorium, I guess I'll go grab that. But well, I think I'm we'll stabbing okay. Ultima Weapon violently at the moment. <laughs> Neckbreaker. There's, there's a giant griffin fate in front of me called Neckbreaker. When the King of Ruin fell, his head executioner, refusing to be subjected to the same cold justice he had dealt his entire life, slit his own throat. Unable to bear the loss, the executioner's pet beast, Neckbreaker, took to the peaks, where he has been continuing his kind master's work ever since, much to the chagrin of the region's innocent residents. I, I could see how that would be a problem. Because if you're just... A griffin wandering around breaking necks that wouldn't exactly work out too well for for anybody I don't know we could probably take him but that's eh, all right Jamal so that's a, a Dalmel's distant cousin 300 to the more north. than likely Probably. Game, all I want is tombstones. Let me out. Hmm. Let me out. Well, just because we can't see them doesn't mean they're not here. Oh, that wouldn't be good. We'd have to turn back around and run back the way we came. If they fixed it already. Uh, I can descent that planisphere. So let's do that. Getting that goldsmith descent level up. Always a good thing. Uh, Battlecraft enemy material. That's kind of nice. Doesn't sell for nearly as much as it used to, but that's okay. For some reason, mobile Twitch was not connecting. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm glad you got it connected now. Uh, that trident might be desynthable by, um, by carpenters. Have to look. On a side note, you know what I want right now? What? I'm just getting a random craving. I just want some ice cream. Hmm. Like actual in a cone ice cream. Well, I don't know if there's any ice cream places open at the moment, but I'm pretty sure there will be once this whole virus thing blows over. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll be employed by that point, too. <laughs> so we can actually afford ice cream, right? And so I can afford to continue to feed my 14 addiction. Hmm. You make it sound like there's going to be more than one Rogadin woman here. I mean, Rogadin females are like the lowest played class in the game. That's got to be reflected in the uh, in the NPC count too, right? <laughs> uh, uh. There's going to be like six identical looking Rogadin women that we're all going to have to answer to, isn't there? <laughs> well, that's not a Rogadin woman. That is a Rogadin woman. I'll just have to keep that in mind. Oh, okay, they're over here. Got it. Well, before I go talk to them, let's uh, repair our gear. Uh, I'll sell stuff later. Let's see. What we got to repair besides that? Just my culinarian stuff. Okay, that's easy to take. Cool. Alright, we've repaired our once per stream, so now let's uh, have a chat with this young Hellsguard. Hello. <laughs> They're still doing the uh, the Wild Rose thing, aren't they? Yeah, one with courage would have to walk through here, wouldn't they? Maybe, but I don't usually uh, go with the plan that's easier. <laughs> hmm, okay. I, I think I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's go see. Actually, we should see if our friends are ready to go talk to her as well. I think so. She said meet outside the walls there, the border walls. Yeah, it could be a trap, but could be we found who we're looking for. Well, we're going to find out right now, aren't we? I'm willing to bet it's not a trap, because uh, if it was, she wouldn't have the green exclamation point over her head. 188 to the southwest, you say. Okay. I will, um... 
Talk to her first, then we'll go look for it. Because we might be going that way in a minute. Uh, far as I know, no, I was not followed. <coughs> you good, Jimmy? Yeah, I think it's finally gone now. I had to get that cough out. Well, all right then. Yes. Pippin is a good friend. Stark Wode. Okay. Surprised you're not dressed in uh, yellow and red. Why, so her color is going to be more stark? Yeah. Like, l quite literally more stark, yes. Oh, okay. Got to be a pretty strong dude, then. <laughs> well, that would that makes sense, all things considered. She said that they sent home the Alamegan help, so... I guess it could be operational now, but... Yeah, that would be for the best. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's see what we can do, then, with this map of yours. I get the feeling I know how the groups are going to go as well. It's going to be Lise, Alice, Alfie Node, and Stark Wode are going to go in one group. And I'm going to find three random people walking around in the desert up here and be like, Hey, you want to go kill Castro? I mean, it can't be that hard. What are the chances you're not just going to find one of them wandering around the desert right now? Rory, <laughs> 20 feet away. <laughs> Help! Somebody! <laughs> I want water! I think I hear a potato calling. <laughs> this fucking... Oh my god. Okay, so Alice and Alfie Note are gonna go with us to get into the ventilation duct so we can... Yeah, destroy their weapons research area. Alright, Lahabra is trying is making a speech and then I'm stabbed and then I'm out of this finally. Okay, cool. I should have it unlocked by the time you're out of it. Thank god. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go in together, but you two are gonna split off from us and you're gonna make a diversion so that Lise and the rest of the people here that want to resist will uh, be able to go resist. Got it. Awesome. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. We, we kind of need to make sure that, uh, you know, we can get in first. So let's go, let's go make sure we can get in first. That's also an Aether Current quest, I think. Yep, a hunger for trade. There's a third one as well. What's the third one? Uh, closing up shop, but I don't think that one's available just yet. Not until a little bit later. So, we aren't too far away from Castromabania now, though. Uh, let's go grab that ether current while we're thinking about it, since I'm waiting for coal anyway. Might as well. I gotta keep my eyes on the sky, though, because there's freaking giant giraffe monsters walking around the the deserts here. Deserts. Yeah. I mean, I understand the tallness, because, you know, I gotta get the stuff off the trees, but, like... Do Did you, you do unlock you... Castrum yet? Uh, not yet. I'm walking towards it once I get this ether current. Okay. But I feel like the trees are almost as tall as the as the jamels anyway. So like, did did they need to evolve to have such long necks? Were the trees taller here at one point before the empire came here and started spilling ceruleum all over the desert? I don't know. All right, next one. Five seventy six north. That's the one that we were. Uh, yeah supposed to be getting up there so we'll go get that one later um and i think that there's one more after that yeah so there's one more that we need to get it's probably somewhere over here if i had to guess but we'll uh we'll worry about that once we get through castor albania or we'll worry about it once we reach the next stopping point which probably isn't going to happen today um what i'm thinking is that uh cole told me there's a quest that he wants me to do on monk uh, coming up soon called the Lady in Red. And um, I'm thinking that's going to be about the stopping point for today. If we get there, I'll be happy. Um, because after that, there's only a couple more quests left before we reach our fifth and final uh, break point for the story until we are done with uh, 4.0's storyline. So We're surprisingly very close to the end. Yeah. It's, it's interesting and a little... 
it's almost a little like deja vu though, because like when we were in the hinterlands in uh, Ishgard, it also didn't feel like we were that close to the end, but. Well, here we are again, feeling the same way. At least I'm feeling the same way. Might not want to eat the Magitek rays with your face, Confucius. I know you're all powerful, but I, I don't think you need that in your diet. <laughs> oh, hey, I got up for a challenge. We're done. Nice. Okay, Mr. GM, will just stay out of the way of the Imperial patrols, and we'll all be okay here. We'll all be friends. Sorry, pup. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Man, he didn't even deserve that. I don't think he got to do a damn thing. <laughs> I, I uh, Kaiten Midari to him, and then Confucius stunned him. <laughs> Poor pup. I think Peta's gonna get on my ass about that one. Peta, no. Yeah, that. I need the income from this Twitch channel plus. The the check that I get all of once a year. Exactly. 497 North, so that's the same one up there. Maybe they're both up that way. That's possible. We'll figure it out later. No big deal. Good job, you, uh, you guys. I was going to say team, but they're not really on the same team right now. They're on the same team in general, but... Yeah, we're all trying to do this all solid snake-like in separate groups, so... Well, we're going to have to see, Ali say, aren't we? I'm a troll. Okay, cool. What were you trolling about? <laughs> I just fucking... <laughs> we're sitting there like... La Habrea is just like, hey, I'm gonna do things, and then I just like... We get him down to 0.1s because we all have dots on him. Oh, and all of everybody, literally everybody in the party did the following. We all stopped attacking, and we sat down in front of him. <laughs> nice. Got to find your fun somehow when you have to do Praetorium once a day. I hate so much. Aren't you going to be glad when we're uh, going into Shadowbringers and we don't need to get Poetics anymore? Yeah, we'll just need to get whatever the new fucking Tombstones are. Yeah, that's true. Shoot me in the head, I don't want to deal with that. I wish I had a stun so I could keep him from Vitalising, or he c I could just rob his body of all of its vitality. That works too. Okay. Well, let's take a look and see if the patrols are following their schedule. Yeah, they weren't nothing. Nothing I haven't handled before, anyway. <laughs> yeah, wh what are we, uh, what are we looking for here, Starkwode? Oh, okay, cool. I wonder if we're actually going to start in the ducts and have to, like, sneak around at the beginning of the dungeon. So, sneak. That would be an interesting uh, mechanic. Like, if you uh, if you, you have to sneak around for the first uh, section, so if you raise the alarm, um, there's a bunch of extra enemies. They do that in Castor Meridianum, but we haven't done that since, so... Of course, I'm thinking more along the lines of, if you do it correctly, you could pull absolutely zero enemies between the beginning and the first boss, but... Yeah. Well, I'm pretty good at causing chaos, so. And you too, thank you. All right, let's see what we can do then. Man, make it sound like a big, huge deal. It's not like I haven't taken down a Castrum before, but Castrum Abania is now accessible. Cool. Can't remember for the time being, but how much is it for the monthly subscription fee for 14? So it is $12.99 for an entry subscription, which means you get one character per per, um, per server that you're on, and up to eight characters maximum. If you pay for the standard fee, you can have, I forget how many exactly, because I, I only personally pay for the entry fee. The standard fee is like $15, I think. So um, it is... And not something that I buy because I don't need more than one or two characters, honestly. I have I have this one and I have an alt if I want to test characters on, and that's it, so. Okay, you ready, you two? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Talking Alpha Node and Ali say, actually. Okay. So, let me I was do this, about to actually, say. real quick. 
SP is here for the thing. Go ahead in the multiplayer chat there, SP. And if anybody else would like to join up for Castromabania, let me know. You can head on over to the multiplayer chat as well. So, Yugman will be watching for this one. Okay, no problem, Yugman. Um, hmm. Well, while we wait for Cole, I'm going to look real quick at where the other two ether currents are in the peaks right here. So let me do this. We'll let Confucius uh, pop out of battle if he wants to pop out of battle. That's fine. How close are you, Cole? Hold up, I'm ascending. Yo, hold up. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I'm good. Ether curse. I was literally just augmenting my gear for uh, scaven crap. Oh, okay. Because there are some maps here somewhere that will show me. I'm That's logging in as we speak. Um, maybe I should just search for the peaks. Aether currents, there we go. Aether currents in the peaks, that's what I'm looking for. What you got, hardcoregamer.com? Where's your map? There it is. Okay, so we got the final one. Uh, which was the one that was southwest there by Mount Yorn. There is one in the quarry, and there is also one near... Uh, let's see, not that quarry. That quarry. There's one up in here. And then there's also one around here near Momaroon's Milk that you have to go... Uh, like I said, you have to kind of go up this little area here to the south of Rustrock and go up on this cliff and go over to it. So we'll uh, we'll worry about that later. But both of them are on the on the north side. So we'll go back to that once we're you know hunting for ether currents. I'm on mine, by the way. Okay, uh, go to the multiplayer chat so I can drag you into streaming, and oh, we will good, get okay. a moving. What do I even want to do for this dungeon? I forget. I'll figure it out by the time we get that far. Let's see, so I'm doing Samurai for Alamigo and Scholar for the final boss. So I think I want to summon her this dungeon if possible. Hey Steve. I think that's what I'm, I would like to do. Let's drag Cole and SB in here so we can see what everybody else is doing. There's Cole. Let's get SB in here as well. And there's SB. There we go. What? Hello. Hey, what's going Hello. on, SB? Uh, drawing for the past like three hours. Oh, I fuck nice. Feel that. <laughs> What's I'm down. As far as what I'm doing, I'm down for basically anything. Okay. Uh, Cole, what do you feel like doing? I would like to I'm summon her this dungeon if possible because I'm I'm planning on samuraiing in the level seventy dungeon and uh, scholaring in the final boss. So. I am taking this. Okay. Okay. I'm not healing. Okay. Well, we'll wait for a healer. I'm That's just fine. I can I can heal. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Have you? Do you have, like, Skaven stuff, Cole? I have level 70 gear now. Okay. So he has, like... I power leveled everything after that last dungeon. I got sick and tired of getting wiped. Mm. Okay. So your stuff is, like, 385 now, right, Cole? Yep, 385. Okay. okay. I have re I got as much high-quality stuff as I could as well. Mm. Okay. Because yeah, remember that uh, normal quality is functionally 10% lower eye level. Mm. Fair enough. Gotcha. Which is weird and dumb, but... Yeah. <laughs> Trying to encourage you to buy off the market board or level a crafter. Something like that. Did I lower this real quick? Let me see. I don't know if I did or didn't, but I'm going to pull it up a little more. There we go. Okay, uh, is everybody ready to go into Castrum Abania, then? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I pronounced it as Castrum Albania for, like, months. And then oh. I realized not that it was not. That. Well, I, I'm with you there. I've been pronouncing, uh, I forget if it's Abalathia or Alabathia's spine when I, we were in Heaven's Ward, but I was pronouncing it the the opposite of what it actually is for the longest time. I believe as well, it's so. Abalathia. Is it? So I was probably saying Alabathia. Let, let me, I don't actually know. Let me, uh, let me check. Okay. I will go and hover over the dungeon. It's Abalathia. Is it Abalathia? So I was probably saying Alabathia then. My worst, my least favorite word, for petty reasons, is enmity, because for the longest time I pronounced it enmity, where the M comes first. Oh, and I okay. I still think that's a better. I still think that's a better spelling. <laughs> I, I enmity versus enmity. 
So, yeah, I don't know. I do not like the N mid. The yeah, N -M -M. the N M. Yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> I'm a writer. The like, I have very strong opinions about language. <laughs> no, that's fine. I get it. I totally get it. All right, I'm gonna click into Castromania. Let's okay. do this thing. I am ready now. That was fast. Yeah, Insta Q. Making a DPS day. What I'm not gonna make a DPS day for is that I don't have Bahamut at this point, so. They might uh, be above me on the parse, <laughs> but that's okay. Stop sandbagging, Jimmy. Get your mm. full DPS rotation. Mm. Yeah, just be level 80. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Go go get Phoenix real quick, we'll then come back. We'll, it will it'll take you like 10 minutes. Go get it, and then we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I lo I love like, Phoenix, though, just like as an ability. It's thematically really cool. You uh, missed my one... Uh, did we? I forget if we said it on the stream or not, Cole. But I was saying, can't wait for the next expansion when we get temporal trance and we can summon Alexander. Well, that was. I would fucking die laughing. The DPS didn't like my joke. <laughs> that would actually be be cool. I don't know what they're gonna do next. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I, I'm. All I think the, the only ability that I have a strong opinion about that they should like rework or add is change Living Dead so it doesn't suck. You don't have a white mage because yeah. Yeah, shit. that can I just like, it, it does feel like garbage if you're not a white mage to heal it. And uh give Bard a way to spread its dots in an AOE. Oh absolutely, yeah. Holy oh, shit, it and needs follow me that. here. Fix my fucking invincible move so the enemy can't kill me at frame one. Mm. Also, yes, fix that, but I've never seen that actually happen, so <laughs> it's happened to me. Has multiple it? times. Well that's not I good. cry every time. Cole must use Super Bowl Light like more than any other gunbreaker. <laughs> If that's the case. It's cool I, I I'm mean, ignore yeah. It. yeah. Better to not ignore it, I guess. I was in the level 80 dungeon earlier today, and the white mage let me die through the head. Oh, sucked. that's not good. The Disassembler. Hmm. That's a cool title. Okay, Cole's pulling. I missed one. Wait, fuck. he is? Oh, no! Uh, okay. Can I keep going? I forgot if I can keep going. Uh, yes. Ow. Theoretically can, yes. But I'm casting Holy now, so it's not Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm not moving. The I'm getting mage ruined four stacks. Hey, I got Dance Partner finally. That's good. I mean, yeah. They, uh, they didn't cast it on me initially, which is fine. I just was like, hey, where's my Dance Partner? But it's all good. This is not quite sneaking around the... Um, oh, what was the name of that ship in Chrono Trigger where you have to sneak around as everybody except for... Uh, I think Magus was the one that wasn't uh, able to sneak around with you, because I don't think you had him at the time. I forget. It's been a while since I played Chrono Trigger. Uh, I should do that. There we go. Uh, careful with your AoE. With your AoE is cool. Because, uh, Jimmy made This is fine. Oh, hello there. Wait. Hold the fuck on! Well. I have continuation at this level! Yeah! Yay! Uh, by the way, Cole, have you hit us? Does that mean you've hit 70 on Gunbreaker? Uh, yeah. And have you done the quest? Yes, I have. What did you think? It was pretty good. Not gonna lie, it was legitimately challenging without Skaven gear. What did you think of the story? It's not Dark Knight, but I like it more than the Paladin storyline. It is my least favorite story in the game. Hmm. I have written an entire essay on why it's my <laughs> least favorite story in the game. <laughs> I have very strong opinions on the Dark on the Gunbreaker quest line. Hmm. And I will tell you about them some other time. Oh, yeah, okay. oh my tri disaster! <laughs> you cucked my tri disaster. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll bane with miasma and bio. Judging from your money situation, how things are currently, how things are looking for the future, should be able to pay a subscription fee for the game with money to spare after careful consideration. Well, that's good, Conquer. Glad to hear it. I know how it can be, especially around, like, right now, money situations can be kind of tight, so it's good that your money situation is in a good place. 
On a side note, continuation fixed every problem I ever had with Gunbreaker. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, to be clear, Gunbreaker is my favorite tank to play. It just has my least favorite job in my story. Hmm. In terms of the tanks, in terms of least favorite to favorite, it has to go Paladin, Gunbreaker, Warrior, Dark Knight. Oh, look, Nothing an actual Magna Rotor. Ever <laughs> top Dark Knight. Hmm. Trust me, Jimmy. You're in for it. Uh, I, I I'm pretty full Nebulae. Just okay. in case he cleaves. Well, you gave me enough time to get Ifrit out here, so that's good. He might cleave. I actually don't. Uh, how about we do one of those? There we go. I'm going to stand over here. I'm not going to stand over here anymore. <laughs> don't I'm going to stand devotion. back over here. Oh, I don't my know. God. What level? You have devotion at this level, right? Or did you use it? Uh, I have devotion. I'm just holding it for a second. Uh, okay. Uh, Cole, no. let me know when you hit continuation. Okay. What do my does my stone four not worthy of your devotion? Oh, actually, don't hit it now. <laughs> Fast as fuck. Whoa. Well, okay. Oh, no. Hello. Twelfth Legion Optio. That's not how no. you pronounce that. Oh, there's Am people. Okay. Cool. Oh, hello. Oh, there's humans. Fuck. Oh, the cannons is operational. I'm gonna wait for this one though. Oh, okay, goodbye. Oh, well, all right then. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Okay, so I need to reprisal that. I'll keep an eye out. Ow. Also, he does have an untelegraph tank. This is uh, fine. I hit devotion. I need uh, to put a macro for that, I think. Uh, it's not necessary. Yeah, I guess so. It will, it will just draw attention to when you get the time off. Yeah, I guess that's true. Give me the Emeru in four stacks. I should have reapplied my dog. This is fine. Uh, Good shit. Oh. That was pretty easy. Nicole, I DM'd you my essay. Oh, okay. It's an act. I'm not joking. It's an essay. It's like three or four pages long. Zenobian Solarets. I don't know what Zenobian means. I don't know. I did find um, out something interesting, though. Um, some of the deep cold fending stuff, it actually is based on Ishgardian armor that you can oh, get okay. in the vault, because I got it in the vault uh, not too long ago. Yeah. So, I would suggest yeah. murdering as many of these pods as humanly possible. Cool might re recognize this as something he's seen before. There's a certain uh, 24 man. Where you, the faster you kill the ads at the start, the fewer you have to deal with them and summon things. Uh, I gave myself that by mistake. Oh no, I didn't. Why are you pulling them away from me? Hmm. Just trying to keep them like not murdering you. If How you do die, I chain stun them if you pull rude. them away? Whoops, that's. I'm not, trying to be a nice uh, tank for once. Player, but... You're doing a very nice job. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Aspie. <laughs> that does wonders for my confidence. Cole You're said he needed fine. the confidence anyway because after his past couple showings with Gunbreaker, you he was feeling get a little horribly low. horribly mauled by the, by the trash. Cole, You're going to die. This is good. Oh, hello, friends. More doggos. Ow. Jimmy, that fucking pull method you taught me, doing wonders. I told you. <laughs> so I told yeah, him to use his... Uh, rough divide and then do AoE instead of trying to do lightning shot and then following it up. So. Oh, yeah, that's definitely something you can do. Because that gives him a lead on the rest of the party, basically, so that, uh, yeah. as far as on I'm concerned, Gunbreaker specifically, you can also use Aurora, and the regen will uh, get, get back. Aggro. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Like, if you're using lightning shot and you don't have Aurora on you already, you can always uh, use that to help with your uh, grabbing stuff. Yeah, or because Aurora's healing grants aggro, but Aurora's regen is affected by the uh, by the tank stance buff, so you just get a fuck ton of aggro. Holy okay. shit! Well, you murdered them before I even finished my DPS rotation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we can't kill both sides, we'll start focus on right side first. Okay. Everyone usually does left, but. You know, you do this you. This is fine. 
I just made a split second decision on which side to focus on. Whoops. Uh, there's Magna Rotors now. They're mad at me. Where? Oh. Vroom! Yeah, those guys. Stop. Stop! I hate over capping on lilies because I don't have this. <laughs> like, I have nothing to use them on. Another instinctual thing I've kind of practiced is every time somebody in the party says stop and we're in voice chat, I'm just like, here, have an Aurora. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've conditioned you to assume that I'm like in mortal peril every time I'm upset. <laughs> to be fair, it's not always untrue. Mm. In that particular instance, there was, so. Hello, friend. Oh, I know this guy. He was in Final That's Fantasy so VI. XXIV, that's 14. 24. Oh, that's 24. Oh, 24, got it, pulling. Behold, the pinnacle of Magitek Enhanced. <laughs> I just, oh, I just chain weaved a summon with Fester, and I think that's not exactly the best thing to do, but it'll work. Uh, oh, one in each. That's pillars. Stab. Towers. That's the tank buster. I have aspected ice. Oh, uh, it's a tank buster. I'm fine. Barrier shift. Cooldown. Oh, he's okay. So he's magic master from Final Fantasy VI. He's not actually number twenty-four. Got it. Fire and lightning aspected, so get ice. Okay. Uh, I hear a stack marker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, closer, I love you. You guys did the mechanic correctly. The dancer has not done the mechanic correctly. Oh. So their damage is, is pretty low then, huh? Uh, well, okay. They are doing zero damage and it reflects and uh, bounces out. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. How did I just double weave that? I'm going to the left. I have one. Fine. Oh, nice. he's just dead. <gasps> We're killing him so fast. We did kill him pretty quickly. I wonder what this sinks your eye level to, since it lets you go to 70. Um, I don't know if it does sink your eye level above, like, it might sink it to 400. Oh. Well, that would explain why we're killing it so fast. <laughs> I mean, I'm 467. Or yeah, that, that would help, too. <laughs> this is a weird pull, from what I remember. So I'm, gonna do the box. I'm getting some serious Ratchet and Clank vibes here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cole, do you want to just go all the way and double? Yeah, I'm going all the way. Okay. Well, I'm popping Nebula and Aurora before I do that, so I can live okay. to the end of the path. That's hmm. fine. I got a uh, Benny for when you get to the end, so let me know as you're yeah. like Once you've gotten everything, you can, uh... Uh, uh ow. I have everything. I'm bull lighting. Uh, okay. This is why callouts are good, Jimmy. I see. They don't make white mages mad at you. I'm not entirely huh. sure bullwhip was necessary, honestly. I wasn't either, but I wasn't going to take a chance. Because I've gotten deleted for pulls like this before. What, mm. what is the dancer's gear? Oh, there was one more. Oh, the dancer just has, like, skate and stuff, too. Oh, uh, okay. So we're not even, like, super geared. I don't know why we're doing so much damage. Hmm. Huh. Am I doing more DPS than I think? Probably. I mean, you have continuations. Uh, so that probably helps us quite a bit. Well, you're not yeah. using continuation sync in an AoE. I hope. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to use it in an AoE situation. Sometimes I do single target rotations when we're in big groups if I need to keep, like, Blood of the Dragon up or something, but most of the time when I'm on tank, I just go straight AoE rotation. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, if I just weave Dragonfire Dive in when I'm playing uh, Dragoon, the enemy group just explodes. Well, that makes sense. Oh, what um, what do you use your cartridges on in AOE before you get Faded Circle, by the way? Uh, nothing, actually. None nothing. of your AOEs So do you, uh, just, do you just, like, cost. burst strike until you get it, basically? basically? Uh, at level... Ow. 72. Yeah, no, you're not dying today. At level 72, you get both uh, Faded Circle, which is your AOE. Okay. 
Or rather, is your AOB a cartridge? Consumer. Right, yeah. I, I'm upset. Mm. I can't I, I lost track of which direction the corner is. Yeah, I didn't get my fester in in time. That's okay. I got him. Easy. I don't know if either of you actually like, need it. Yeah, I don't think I need any of that stuff. I think it's lower than anything I've got, so... Because I'm decked out in 330 gear right now, so... Well, we're done. Is this weapon 3 search? It's Maybe I should have looked ground. at the map a little more. This is the assessment ground. Ah. Oh. Time for your final exam, Cole! Oh, dear God. Why does he have a third eye? Tien, is that you? Man, you got no, swole like... since Dragon Ball Super. By third I'm... eye, I mean like a Garlean eye, Jimmy. No. Oh, okay. I'm concerned. Oh, it's Inferno. He was also in six. Okay. One. Two. Pull. He has technical stuff, so. Oh, wait. Hang on. Do it that way. Hold up my cartridges, drop bow shock, do my off GCD, do my rotation. K2 Pop slash. Back, tank buster coming. Hey, is the tank buster? Rahu blaster. Cole, he's bringing custom robo against us. I love how you and me thought of the same damn reference. <laughs> Pop Aurora myself. He moved out of my asylum. K2 and Rahu, okay. I'm going over here, bye. That's not what I wanted to do, actually. Okay, I'm moving. I have an asylum up still. I'm gonna stand. Here, let me help. You don't need to help. Okay. I was just barely. Uh, oh god, get me out of there. The strength of Inferno's left arm K2 grows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, popping Nebula, just in case he cleaves. Ow. I was right. I'm it getting better at this. It does, but it does a tank buster, and now it applies. Well, I got a standard finish. Finally, slash. Slash. I don't know if this Ow. guy follows the pattern of not having any telegraphs, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna not take a chance on that. So, K2 and okay, two Okay, uh, hello, oh, hello, sure. hello. Pizza. Ow. French fry. K2 and Rocky. Oh well, okay then. Put my feet here, pop heart of stone, do this, and then pop no mercy and rip his face off. Have a devotion, friend. I was just waiting to hear no mercy or continuation. I don't even want to. I can't even. Like, I'm paying so much attention to doing my rotation, right? I'm not even looking at my numbers. <laughs> There's a technician telling him to take his medicine. Can we kill the technician? Uh, no. No clue where that guy is. Somewhere. Damn. We are killing this guy super fast as well, by the way. Oh, I have a death claw. On me. Um, I yeah, I have a friend. Cold, don't die for a bit. Oh. I'm fine. I have full guns. 12th right. Legion Packer. That guy explodes. Got him. Oh. Uh! <laughs> Maybe I should have waited to use this LB. Oh, I was God. trying to. I was waiting. I didn't think it would kill you, and I saw the many. I'm fine. This it's okay. Fine. Try disaster, kill them. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Try disaster, kill them. We're good. All I'm saying during that entire section is okay. All of my shit's on, on cooldown. Trust the healer. Trust the healer. Dead. Why did not you trust me? <laughs> if I don't trust you, then I'm not a good tank. Sometimes you just gotta trust your healers and just yolo it. Well, it all worked out in the end. Good job, team. This dancer's it's getting three commands. Getting three commands. Yeah. Rigel. No thanks. Check adventure F1. Larian Dark Priest top. I don't think I need seals, so. Check adventure F1. Hey. Good job, Jimmy. Got it. I kind of just greed on those. I Give didn't need equal chance. You can you monster. <laughs> Uh, I actually have to go for tender. Good timing. Yeah, very right. good timing. Thanks for helping okay, out with Castor like Mabania, that. Espy. No problem. Uh, I'll give that, that, uh, was, that, that was unreasonably fast. I don't think I've ever done that. Right? <laughs> Maybe we should have gone in minimum eye level again. Oh, no. Bye.
All right, later, Espy. Thanks for coming. Heard me say something about Custom Robo. Why is he hurting me today? <laughs> Sorry, Todd. <laughs> One of these days we'll play it for the stream. One of these days. Do have to wonder if any bosses that are available to you now and possibly future ones are susceptible to sleep since you might be doing duty roll-up with Conjurer later. I don't know if bosses are susceptible to sleep, um, but it is an option if you want to, uh, like once the tank plants their feet, if you want to try to uh, help out a little bit. Although usually the thing is, Conquer, is that a lot of people, um, when you do your AoE rotation, it instantly pops the enemies out of sleep. So I don't usually use Repose as a Conjurer or as an any uh, healer because you get Repose. Um, it has its uses, but they're limited, I think. Scranes thought ahead and made bosses immune to most stuff. Yes, yes, they did. Just think about it, since you were fighting small groups of enemies and sleep helped a lot in not dying. Yeah, I think in solo play, sleep is nice. Um, it helps out a bit in solo play. In, uh, when you're in dungeons, though, it kind of isn't so good. So. Yeah, ineffective in dungeons. In solo play, it has its uses. Um, just in dungeons, there's very few uses. Anyway, well, I killed the Inferno thing. We should probably leave before it explodes in an electric ball, but... We've accomplished our objectives as well. Oh, good. So, Castro Mavania has fallen. Lisa's unit should be advancing upon the fire control center in the command tower. In Random Fates, anyway, makes sense, though. Yeah, in Random Fates, it does have its uses as well, especially if it's, like, larger groups of enemies, so you can put them to sleep and take them on a little bit, uh... Like more, more like one at a time, basically. So, so I wonder what Garlean they put into the Hypertune machine and then turned the dial front that has a setting of one to ten up to sixty nine. Hmm. Because that was probably a Garlean person that turned into Inferno Please. there. Thank the twelve year old. Well, like I said, they did have the third eye. Yeah, it was a writhing mass of raw muscle. And you. There's the control center. Let's hit them hard and fast. Ready? Do we bring the satchel charges? I don't think I have machinist leveled enough to have the satchel charges yet. Fordola! We've come for you and everyone else in this room because you kind of murdered a lot of people, and that's not really all that cool. Agreed. She's screaming at her for dolls, like, sorry, I gotta take a phone call. I gave the order to fire. It was over. The skulls had surrendered. No one else had to die. And you killed them. Your own people. Your own comrades. It's not very Dijobu of you. I killed them. Anstrid, Rudolf, Emlyn, all the rest. Trained and fought with every last one of them. Good soldiers to a man. I gave the order that led to their deaths. And I knew exactly what I was doing. So why did you do it? Why? Why would you do that? Yeah, you might want to answer quickly before Elise punches you in the face. They died so that all Alamegans could live free. That was all we ever wanted. That runs completely count contradictive to what you're doing currently. We made a promise that we would do whatever it took so that one day, one day the Imperials would learn to accept us. They will never accept you. And if you haven't got the means to pay, then you pay with blood. In case you haven't noticed, they're all still ogling you and talking about you like you're a dog, even though you gave the order to fire on your own. Like, they still probably call you a savage in the break room, Fordola. Like, come on now. It amazes me how these Garleans talk shit about everyone, including their own commanders, and don't expect to get their heads cut off. Hmm. Fight harder, kill more and more and more. Like, fuck my and life. Then, a group of Imperials could get massacred in the most horrible way possible and by Fordola and nobody else would still give a shit. They'd still just all throw their lives away <laughs> by opening their mouths. I swear, all Garleans are born without the ability to you feel fear. Freedom with blood. There is no other way. Yeah, I don't know about that, Shut Fordola. Up. Shut your mouth. You don't get to talk about freedom. You killed your own. They trusted you and you killed them. Yeah, I'm with Lisa on this one. Murderer, butcher, traitor. Kick her ass, Lise. Uh, what the fuck? Why does she have half a lens flare? Mm hmm. Hmm. 
Lise. Maybe don't call her name before you help her. Oh, okay. Bitch has superpowers. Ow. I know what you can do. I've already seen it. Hmm. Alize. You should, yeah, you should go heal her. We can handle the rest of this. Come on now. Even so, the odds are against me. Yeah, well, yeah, there is four of us, and then there's also Monago and the others. Oh, well, okay then. Man, that's a big ass hole she put in the wall. Oh, well, okay then. I want to watch those helicopter blades for Dola. You might be getting a haircut. Zenos invites you to join him for the royal hunt to be hosted at the palace. You may bring your horde if you like. All are welcome. Oh boy, I've always wanted to hunt some royals. Zenos can be first. He'll be the first royal I hunt. All right, at least I get it, but there's nothing we can do. Let's make sure Ellie stays okay before we go off and punch Fordola in the face. Yeah, like that. She'll be all right, but we'll need to carry her. Will you help me? Sure. I got this. Please, I leave matters here in your hands. Yeah, punch a few computers to get your frustrations out. And then get the satchel charges ready. Okay, well, that takes care of that. Yep, and I don't think we're going to let it go anytime soon. Okay, good. Well, it feels empty because we haven't beaten the Empire out of Alamigo yet, at least. We got to do that first. Okay, well, that's a good idea, I think. Oh, I think somebody's in a fight. The music switched That would be on. me. I'm leaving the party so you can enjoy the cutscene. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can actually decent these twin silk slops, so I'm gonna just take these gazelle skin things, because those I'm pretty sure I can decent. so... Like this I should be able to. Yeah, carpentry lets me do that. Lots of battlecraft demon material I'm getting, that's good. I got a Valerian Dark Priest's hat, so I guess I'll turn that in for sales. Three more field of recurrence. Yeah. Where's the closest one? These ones. Are you looking That's for the ones long. in the peaks, Call? Yeah. Uh, there's one in the quarry. Uh, which quarry am I talking about? The Sleeping Stones, I think. It's all the way in the northeast corner. There's one in there. Right. And then there's one southwest of it in Momaroon's Milk. And to get to it, you have to go south of Alagana and go up that little walkway that's in near Rust Rock. Okay, I'm so. only missing three so far. Oh, okay. There might, the there might be one that's uh, over by us that you missed as well. But, um, yeah. If hey, you... look, we're getting a field ether current two quests from now. Oh, nice. Or I should say a full quest ether current. Yeah. Well, I might have to take you up on that offer, Mr. Serpent Officer, because I, I think she got hurt pretty badly. Hopefully she'll be back up and running pretty soon, but... Anyway. Robon's Invitation! to the royal hunt. Well, we're hoping it stands as a resounding victory, but uh, yeah, Fordola escaped and Alice got injured, so feels a little uh, a little hollow to Lise. Guess a little hollow to me too. Yeah, the royal hunt. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're on board. Did, did Lise read the script? Does she know that we're almost to the end? We've got another entire area to explore yet. <laughs> I don't know how big the locks are, though, to be fair. 
Okay, well, hopefully we'll find Cryo. I was thinking she was going to be held here, but hopefully we'll be able to find her without too much trouble. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Robon. So we'll have to go see what it is. got to go to Radiata. Okay. I think I know where he's taking us. But we'll go see. Was that like a half bow? A half serpent bow? Because a serpent bow normally is they cross their arms and then they do a, like a, a full bow, but he just crossed his arms and nodded. That's fine, I guess. I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying <laughs> it looked a little funky. Alright. Let's head down to uh, this section of the map that we haven't filled out down here yet. And then after that, yeah, we'll go do this stuff that's up there that we didn't get yet uh, later, once we stop uh, for our next break. Our final break, but for the uh, patch content, that is. Indeed. The plan, by the way, for the final break, there's no dungeons planned for the uh, last break before the patch content. We're just going to get the ether currents and the peaks and the locks, and then we're going to do our job quests at level 70. So, I don't even have anything planned for Goldsmith at the time. I'm waiting to do the 60 to 70 stuff uh, for Goldsmith until, um, until we uh, get to the patch content, so... I don't know if I can get down from here without breaking my leg. I mean, there was a staircase just there, but... Eh. I think I have to get down, though. Alright. Down I go. There we go. Well, there's another shot of Noah's Ark. Hmm. It almost... It looks elegant, but also not to me. I mean, I guess they could have based their technology on the elegans. There's nothing saying they couldn't. And probably, like, the Elegans, I think, were the third Astral Era, if I recall correctly. So that means that by the sixth one, they they probably would have... I don't know if they would have faded into ancient history, but their deeds probably weighed less heavily on people's minds, so... Cold Hearth. Yeah, tiny little place, isn't it? This is going to be like Roban's hometown or something, isn't it? Let's, let's look, check in with the villagers. Hmm. Well, I hope you guys have enough to buy more. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, what kind of place is this, exactly? Oh, okay, well, that's good of them. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. What about you, sir? Yeah, I get that part. Time is the ultimate enemy, and I don't think any of us have bested it. Not yet. Unless you're an unless you're an Asian, in which case their days are numbered anyway. <laughs> right. The rate we're going. To be fair, we've killed like all the Asians at this point. There's got to be only a few left. I think the only one that's left that we know specifically by name is Elidibus at this point. I'm not sure if there's any others that we know by name. Glorious, we only have one left. Let's just go stab him. <laughs> uh, those open-toed boots I can actually desynth, so... Okay, what was the reason then, Robot? Enlighten us, shall you? I wanted to show you this house. My house. Yep, his hometown, just like I thought. You mean, this is where you grew up? Aye. Not much to look at, is it? It's probably uh, fairly well insulated, though, if those are, like, mud bricks. I've, I've heard houses like that are usually fairly cool, even though the sweltering sun out here. Same could be said of the village. It was damn near impossible to live off the land, barren as it was. Which is why so many of us traded our plowshares for swords. Right. Swords and uniforms, mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire. And there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. 
It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. Mm hmm It's a frightening thing to face Magitek armor for the first time. But after a lot of trial and error, I found ways to bring them down. After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. So how did you end up in Aldar then? And then one day they hit us. Hard. I was wounded and sent home to recover. Back here. Right. Okay, hang on, headache. Here comes the echo to fill in the blanks. You know what I always found funny? So you're the self-insert, and I'm the one that's sitting over here with that's like a full-on character, like backstory and all. Mm -hmm. One thing I always found funny is that the is that the self-insert has all the powers, and I don't. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. What's the Witcher doing in um, in Robon's village, by the way? What's Geralt of Rivia doing in his village? Kick. Liberty or death. Liberty or death! If this be your creed, then raise up your hands, raise up your voices! Together we will tear Theodoric from the throne! Together we will reclaim our freedom! If only they knew that taking care of Theodric was but the first step of many, many, many steps. Oh look, it's Ilbert. So they, they must have uh, either lived in the same town or he must have lived close by. God, he looks like an asshole in memory too. <laughs> Are they gonna show us young Robon's face? I say, Garlean's got the better of us. The the Chirurgeons say I'm healing well, so it won't be long now. Liberty or death, is it? Tell me, soldier. What do you think those words mean? We, we must need to be willing to die for liberty. Yeah, uh, well, it's not that simple. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And it is never truly finished. But if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up to find you've traded one tyrant for another. And that just won't do. Now, will it? Worst part about Stormblood is they don't show you his young face. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> I was waiting for the dungeon. What'd you think of it? Um, I don't know. It wasn't too bad. Uh, I like the Final Fantasy VI re references all throughout. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't really anything too special about it I didn't really find. It was kind of just like, well, we, we breezed through it pretty easily. We were all trying to figure out why we were killing everything so fast, but we couldn't figure We've it out. We've come to the conclusion that continuation is broken. <laughs> I mean... Well, sir, I've never yeah, I feel like that's how it's going to be for me too, Yugman, is it's going to be like, well, I'll forget about it until I get it in roulettes again, and then it's like, oh, I have this unlocked, I forgot. And I'm, I'm willing to die for that, if that's what it takes. Dying is easy, soldier. Living is harder. Mm. Rest Those are good energy. words. Regain your strength. You'll need it in the days to come. And may at one day we will need it too. Or many days at the rate Robon's going here. They needed it with Theodric, they're gonna need it now with Alamigo. Well, no migraine, but I think I understand what those words mean now, at least to Robon. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lise, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. I wonder how long the Echo Visions take in character. Like, because some of them, like, you wake up later and it's like, you've been out for an hour or something. Meanwhile, this one, it, it seems to have happened instantly. So, like, how quickly did I see that image flash by? 
I know it was slowed down because I was reading it slow, but like, did it flash in the blink of an eye? Mm. Your DM actually used the second boss's mechanic for a boss fight in D and D, and was surprised when we didn't get the reference. Oh God! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Liberty Isn't that forgettable. Huh? Death. Those were Curtis's words and his creed. Ah, okay. Will you swear by your father's creed before your comrades and the gods? See, I didn't make the connection there that uh, Curtis, the guy that wrote the words on Robon's wall there, was Lisa's father. I don't know why I didn't make the connection. But now I get it. Father understood that. And you want to know if I do too. Well, that means you'd have what it takes to finish this thing, so... I swear to you, here and now, I will fight until the end. Be it liberty or be it death. Well, good. Because that's all we can hope for. The we win must be for every Alamegan. Even ones like Fordola, though they may hate us. And the Ananta, though they may fear us. Those ones, we're going to have to kind of pull them back into the fold, aren't we? We'll fight, and we'll talk, and we'll find a way to make it work for all of us. Compared to all that, retaking our home will seem like the easy part. It always is the easy part, Lise. The hard part's rebuilding. Don't let anybody tell you different. And there is naught else to say. You are indeed your father's daughter. Sounds like Lise is ready. I think I'm ready as well. In pretty good shape, considering the fact that this place is probably wind blasted. 20 years, huh? It's been a long time. Yeah, that's the idea. She was pretty pissed off. She was at the point where I think she was ready to ready to break Fordola over her knee. Right. It's kind of, kind of sadistic that we're saying that that's a good thing, but I do understand where you're coming from. Well, if she's having a hard time carrying it, Robon, I'll just help her carry it. It's okay. We're all in this together. Alright, well, we'll meet you back, uh... I don't know, where are we going to meet him back at? Probably Alagiri. Yeah, it's been a while since he's been back, so... Okay, Radiata. Got it. I will meet you there, then. We'll let, uh... We'll let Confucius take a rest while we head back to Radiata. I can... I can handle myself. He's done enough today. How's he doing on experience, anyway? He's about halfway there. That's not bad. He's about where I said he was going to be, honestly. Now, I still have my challenge log thing for his stuff, where I can defeat 100 enemies of comparable level. But I'll, I'll worry about that off-screen. No big deal. Being watched by who? Hmm. Okay. Well, you, you see if you can handle that, and I'll see if I can handle this, then. Somebody is watching us, huh? Hmm. I wonder who it could be. Well, let's go check around. Lisa's intuition is usually pretty good about these things, at least from my experience with her. Suspicious... what does that say? Youth. Okay. Alright, what are you guys doing standing around out here? We all doing loitering out in my desert. Oh dear god. Let's go see what Lise found over here. 
and see if she ran amok of our suspicious uh, stalkers. I guess they'd be considered stalkers, considering... Not, not stalkers in the sense that they were, you know, like regular real-life stalkers where they just... I guess, actually, no, that's not even true. It would be correct in the sense of real-life stalkers, too, because stalkers in real life follow you for a purpose. So, usually a, a nefarious one. So I guess I it's true to real life, too. Now. Okay. This jamal has been aggroed by something. I wonder what. What'd you find, Lise? Yeah, they did. Hmm. So you think the people of Radiata that weren't uh, sympathizers were gonna try to come, ki like, yeah, like why would they even, oh actually, yeah, that's a good idea. We should probably go make sure our friends are okay. All right. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they would try to attack us and be like, oh, the reward will be sweet if we can capture them, but, like, if they knew that we were talking to Stark Wode there, then if they overheard any of that, they would know we were trying to infiltrate Castrum Abania. Like, you're not going to be able to kill the person that just walked out of Castrum Abania and live to tell the tale. Desperation does strange things to people. Agreed. Well, it looks like Nago's okay. Let's hope Alfie Node and Alisei are also okay. Well, we were expecting one when we got here, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what, what were you thinking? You weren't. Evidently. That's what it seemed like, yeah. They're the ones who get these stupid ideas in their head that they can fell adventurers that have killed an elder dragon and several primals. Alright, man. I guess everybody needs a hobby. This hobby got them killed, though, so it wasn't a good one. I think we need to pound something else into their heads, that they can choose whatever life they want. Yeah, we, we've seen it in enough places now, Nago, to see that they get the fight beaten out of them. I don't agree. I think they should still stand up and keep fighting, but... Well, we've beaten that dead horse already. Well, for an entire stream. Mm-hmm. And then, and then some, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, because that argument of ours continued after the stream, didn't it? <laughs> Why was I born such a hardhead and I can't just say, you know what, it's his fucking opinion, let him have it even though he's wrong? <laughs> I wish I was born with that talent. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll have to fight even harder for them. That's the thing, is that uh, we have to fight to make it so that they can see a world where they wouldn't have to do something so excessively stupid as try to track down and capture or defeat the Warrior of Light. Like, you're living in a fantasy, man. I mean, we're living in a fantasy right now. This is a final fantasy, but, like, that's a real fantasy. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Well, good. That means we need to work extra hard as we go forward here. Uh, these are decentable. I'm taking Dragoon gear. Because I can decent it. And I got an Aether Current here. Nice. We'll look for more of those later. Not for now. Well, I'm glad to hear somebody's grateful for it. <laughs> Hoot. Hoot. That's when it weighs heaviest on you, Monago. I know. Trust me. Well, that's no good. I was hoping Alice would be there to 
march with us at the end. Okay, I can decent all of those. What is Lisa's proposal? That's not a bad idea, actually, because, yeah, the uh, infirmary there is is pretty solid, yeah. It's where we've been trusting Yashtola's recovery to this whole time, so. And, yeah, I'd rather that she not stay here while we're off fighting where the villagers can get to her, so. Okay, that I can do. Can you fly here yet, Cole, or are you still working on it? I'm working on it. Oh, so you're doing the Aether Current quest. Okay. The way I see it is, the less time that I spend doing busy work on, like, the between streams is more time that I have. Well, that's true. Okay. Like, the sooner I can fly here, the better. I fucking hate how Alamigo is designed. <laughs> Not a fan of the no. fringes and the peaks, huh? I love the environmental design. It really conveys that feeling of a country that's been beaten to death and all hope has been stripped out of it, but still has a certain beauty about it. Mm -hmm. I but agree still, with that. it's designed like they hate people without mounts. <laughs> without flight, period. Okay, Hi. so this is the quest that Cole wanted me to equip Monk on, so I need to get my retainers out real quick. And actually, I need to send them on ventures too, so let me do that while we're thinking about it. Oh, hey, she leveled up because I leveled up on uh, Ninja. Nice. Might have to raise Botanist to 80 anyway. Oh, I can't do those right now because she doesn't have the high enough gear. Besides, Jimmy, it's only fair. Lisa's a monk. You may as well spar with her as a monk. Isn't that spoilers? Possibly. Mm. Well, mm. in any case, I'm going to take out my monk gear real quick. And it, of the thing about it is I really don't need to take much out. All I need are my knuckles and my soul of the monk, so... Um, I'll sort through my inventory later, Matilda. Just, uh, yeah, head off on your little venture, and I'll, uh, look into getting you better. Oh, you sold something. What did, what did you sell? What did I have you selling? Oh, those Expeditioner's thigh boots that I found in Palace of the Dead. Okay. Good shit. Cool. Not that I need the extra money, but, you know, I'll take it. Okay, let's send Ghost Hammer out to do his thing as well. He won't level up, though, because I don't have Botanist above 70. I might have to fix that soon, because I think I have a few uh, yellow crafter scripts just kind of hanging around in my inventory that I can just uh, use to get a, a botanist's uh, level 70 tool. So, I was going to say weapon, but it's not really a weapon, is it? Hey look, Yugman agrees with me. Monk is a good choice for this one. Well, we're going to do it, so I don't even have to switch around gear, really. All i got to do is go like this, and equip this bad boy, and equip this bad boy. And there we go. I am a monk once more. Boy, it's been a long time since I held these things. Hmm. Well, it's all right. I have a new occupation. I like my samurai sword. Maybe one day I'll try monk again, but for now, we'll, uh, we'll do this because of the quest and because Cole told me it's a good idea. Where's the Sorella lady? There she is. Uh, yes, we actually need a bed ready, because we're bringing another person who was injured way out in the field, so... Okay, what do you need? I will give you a hand with it. Cool, thank you. Oh, good timing, too. Looks like uh, they got here just now. Yep, bring her in. Bed's ready. Just hope her uh, wounds are wrapped freshly. Might have to help out with that myself. Back on PC. Welcome back, Honker. We are uh, actually probably going to be wrapping it up pretty soon, but uh, good that you're back for the end. <sighs> God, they're making getting these fucking ether currents so fucking hard. Hmm. It yeah, does seem like something. Fly. Yeah. Well, you'll get it. It does seem like something Alice would do though is just kind of limp off into battle. Like, don't you leave me here. We'll find Kryle. Don't worry. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I get that. She's there with you, though, you know. She's always here. It, I was uh, pointing to my chest in case anyone was wondering. Oh, okay, sure. I should mention, by the way, that I have had the chance to play Monk at higher levels um, lately, like in the 60s. Um, I haven't played it at anything beyond uh, Shizui yet, but um, I have had the chance to try a couple of the level 60 to 70 skills, and I'm a big fan of uh, Riddle of Earth. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be a big fan of Riddle of Fire and Brotherhood when I eventually get them, but uh, that might be a, a ways off. So. We're just gonna play Monk at 80 and just have an aneurysm. <laughs> but Earth's, Earth's reply is so nice, though, man. No positional requirements for 30 seconds and 10% damage reduction? I need that on a tank. <laughs> Same. Oh, hello. You know, Tataru's gonna be pissed if she knows that you put her outfit away. Still, though, looks pretty good on you. Well, what do you think? I know it's a bit old-fashioned, but in a traditional sort of way, Ida wore it whenever she could. Well, it's one way of keeping her with you on the battlefield. It's more literal than I thought, but this is the least we're talking about. Not again. It's just... If this is the last battle we fight to free Alamigo, then she ought to be a part of it. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I think it looks good on you. It's nice of you to say so. And a bit embarrassing. But mostly nice. Well, I didn't mean it to embarrass you. Now PC Twitch is randomly lagging, hopefully it buffers out. Oh boy. Anyway, the real reason I asked you here was to sneak in a warm-up before the final battle. Oh. Okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> There's this place I know where monks used to spar as part of their training. Now it all makes more sense. Okay. That's why we gotta play it on monk. Okay, sure. I I even took out the old claws as if I preemptively knew this was going to happen. You're welcome. Mm. That wasn't Rory talking, that was just his conscience talking. Hmm. It was, uh, it was Frey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the way up there, huh? You, you still- I hope you still have the climbing gear. That's a long fall, Lise. <laughs> Alright, now listen. Don't you dare hold back on this old man just because I haven't done this in a while. I want everything you've got, Lise. It's the only way we're going to be able to be ready for the battlefield here. You're not old. I'm 37, I'm not old. <laughs> Alright. Bring it on! And if you've seen the trailer for Stormblood, you know what happens next. Yeah, the camera pans out as we punch each other in the face. <laughs> well, that was fun. A little? The, they could feel the shockwaves from down here, Lise. <laughs> We're lucky we didn't scare off any of the new recruits. It was fun, though. That's true. Hey, you ever need a good knocking around so that I can knock some sense back into you, you let me know. Finally! Well, that takes care of that. Lise is happy. She's ready to go for the final battle. Alice won't be joining us, but we can move right along as we head into the final sections of Stormblood. But we're going to have to wait until the next episode of Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, the stream edition, before we go ahead and move along here. So I'm going to go rest over here, underneath the... Um, Th this wall here, the tribute point. What's this thing called again? I forget. Let's see. Bloodstorm. We're going to have a rest right here. 
Whoops, that's not how you sit. That's how you sit. There we go. You know, so, I gotta admit, today's stream was not very stressful at all. It seemed very buttery smooth. It's almost like me being undergeared causes immense stress. I mean, for you. For me, it causes me laughter. <laughs> but to be fair, last stream, I don't think anything's ever gonna top that. God fucking pots! <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube. Check out the stream. We will move on with the story. There's only a couple more quests before we reach our next break, so we'll move on to those and then take care of the Aether Currents and the Peaks and the Locks, which is where we're going on the next episode. On Saturday, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I tried to stifle a burp and I could, could not until the end of the stream. Until Saturday, everybody, take care and have a good night. Peace.